Oh, no, 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 that's, that's just... Oh, nah, shit. That's what I'm oh, about. shit. Like, What's good, yo? We back, <laughs> RTTV TV Podcast! And we got a blast for our introduction. We have, like, fireworks and stuff. Yeah, we was like confetti or some shit like that. That shit was fantastic. <laughs> it was fantastic. <laughs> and there's four of us niggas in the camera. <laughs> <laughs> My boy, Joel. Come on. The youngest nigga's the oldest. He didn't know that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we got Evan looking 40. Come on, my G. Come on, my G. 50, bro. Come on, my G. Yo, yo, Evan can play Mr. Fantastic. Yo, facts. I was just about to say that. <laughs> yo. Evan Pascal, you shitting me. Evan Pascal, bro. <laughs> Put me in the you last one. You know how many times people like ask me, is Evan the oldest? Bro. Yeah, like, <laughs> the oldest nigga. That bear, yo. That's that bear, bro. Old. You know what I'm saying? My nigga been through life. I know what I'm saying. It's wisdom, you heard? But what's good, guys? We back with the RGTV podcast. Yes. And so. today's episode, we are taking a deep dive into the Wano art. Woo. And we're going to see some people's opinions. We're going to see some um, clips that we will react to. And we're going to take some calls as well. Love so it. make sure you keep it locked. And we're going to get into uh, the portion of Wano that we would like to talk about first is the characters. Uh, Wano was an arc that probably was the longest One Piece arc that we ever uh, went through. And so many characters were introduced. So many characters were reintroduced. And I think the thing about Wano is it probably was the, lar- the probably the largest amount of characters on screen or being um communicating and being present in the series in Wano. So one of the first characters that <clears throat> I like to talk about from Wano that I feel like was very, very important and was an um one of the greatest villains ever to me is the boy Kaido. Oh hell yeah. I thought he was gonna bring up Yamato for a second. <laughs> yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> but yeah nah Kaido so- Kaido's that guy, bro. Yeah, Kaido was really like that. It was it was kind of scary how strong he was, um, the way he bu- the way he bullied Luffy in that first encounter that they had, like made him look like a little boy. You feel me? Like turning to the dragon, and he was just doing all this drunk too. Yo, like, honestly, drunk, I think in the history of like anime, Kaido fought the most amount of people within one arc, bro. Like Kaido is undoubtedly probably one of the most <clears throat> indestructible. Like villains I've ever met in my life, probably one of the most intimidating too, bro. Because even like stature wise, my boy's like thirty five feet tall and weighs like three different semi trucks, bro. <laughs> Real <laughs> shit. Like, no, <laughs> no, I knew Kaido was a beast. Where Autumn Samurai, Kenimon, the whole gang went and fought him, and they got washed, bro. Like for nothing, like just got washed. Like mm-hmm. honestly, you might as well have just not fought me. You not guys got washed. You didn't do shit. Like just get out of here. <laughs> not not even shit. then. I knew Kaido was a beast when we first got introduced to him, and he was trying to kill himself, and he jumped from like yeah. that's well, I forgot where he jumped. He, he jumped, jumped from the sky. sky. I think yeah. he jumped from the sky. He just yeah. jumped out, and he's like, "Nobody can kill me!" And <laughs> yeah, it was it was, was kind of crazy. I'm like, "How are you still alive, dude?" I feel like he was one of the villains that I feel like took the show to newer levels, newer heights. I feel like we needed that. Uh, oh, um, not Obito. What's the Mada? Like we needed yes, that. Yes, he's a needed We needed, we needed yeah. that villain that. It's always being talked about and in the shadows. And it's like, yo, when are we going to see him in action? When are we going to see his power moves? And then going to the land in Wano, seeing how he had the people of Wano fit, uh, put the fear in the people of Wano and the way he was controlling it and the way the other warlords and everyone just let him do uh, I mean, the military just let him control right. Wano. Yeah, it's like, why would, why would, like, why would they let someone do what, like, how powerful do you actually have to be? And to see... When you actually see him and see how big he is, dude looks like a giant, like David and Goliath type no beast. And I feel like his power level and his like aggressiveness to want to fight. I love villains that just want to fight. Like I just want to fight the strongest and try to get killed. And I think that was um something that he was a beast. Like yeah, he totally. was what yeah. everything I thought Kimpanchi was, but he actually <laughs> was that. Hey, yeah, wow. I, I one thing I will say about Kaido too is that he was an honorable villain. Like, yeah, he was. When he fought Odin, and the little witch lady came in the background and sabotaged the whole thing, acting like she was um, his son. Kaido got mad and killed her because of that. Because yeah. it was like, it was like, yo, the, I wanted the fair one. We didn't know what was gonna happen, and mm-hmm. now we'll never know. You know. You know so y'all think y'all think they did his character justice? Nah, yeah. and the, uh, the only reason I would say, like, the only thing that um, 
I see people saying in the comments right now, as well as like when I was like doing like research for the podcast yesterday, the one uh, complaint people have about Kaido is like his backstory isn't elite. Like Whoa. Big Mom's backstory was, is way better. I was just Big Mom's backstory is yeah, way yeah, better, yeah, yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah. See, Big Mom's backstory is actually way more flushed out. That's too. the crazy thing about it. I was yeah. actually gonna say that, like, yo, bro, they didn't even fully dive into his backstory. That's what I'm saying. They, that's purposeful. But that means that they didn't nah, do his character that's justice. Whack. That's how is that? Yo, he's not dead, bro. He's not dead. That's like okay. No, think about it, bro. We know One Piece for being like elite when it comes to backstories. So what makes so right you now think not that? Finished. So right now is it finished? No. Is it flushed out right now? So you but, would agree that his backstory is not good right but now. But that's why I enjoy it, though. Because that's okay. why I can anticipate his backstory coming up. It, it makes me anticipate him coming back. But you're back. anticipating 100% that they're giving him a backstory that is coming. Because I trust Oda. And Oda, we trust, nigga. Okay. So that's what I'm saying. Like, <laughs> okay, I mean. No, I mean that's that's, at, that point, I have, at that point, any character, I guess you just be, I don't know. Honestly, I, don't know I agree, fair, I agree I with you. Evan on this. Just because for how long Wano was, and we didn't get much of a backstory on the main villain like Robbie inside said, that arc. Like, yo, we got we got a backstory. We got a better I mean, fleshed out backstory on. Like that, well, let's go. Hold on, wait. Hold on, wait. We got a better fleshed out backstory like on Big Mama. Yeah, hell yeah. We, we got a better fleshed out backstory on Big Mama Shit, in Nick. um, in damn Whole Cake. In, in Whole Cake, <laughs> right? And that was a shorter. And that was a way shorter arc than Wano. Yeah. Like we got a little. We got a couple bits and pieces of Kaido's backstory about how he was talking about. There was one point where he said he thought he was Joy Boy, right? Yeah. And when he met King for the first time, yep. those are the couple of things that we got. We didn't really get much from him. That's with how long it is. So, and I so yo, hold on. I, I got I got a really good clip to that play that though right now. I got a really good oh, clip bad, right bad, now bad. that kind of goes. I'm so glad we started with Kaido as a character because this clip kind of goes hand in hand with what we're talking about, right. and then we'll kind of see. This is from JD Legend and my boy Brago. Uh, they talked about specifically what we're talking about, Kaido. Okay, yeah, so yeah. let's let's hear it through, and let me know out there if y'all can hear the the video or not. If they say something dumb. I'm and not hear it too much. Can you hear it on on that? Just put the nah, volume up. I think it's like the volume on your TV. Or... Yeah. Shout out to everybody that's live here right yeah, now. Yeah, make sure y'all like this video. And guys, Patreon's going crazy right now. If you haven't known, we got Hasbro Hotel going crazy. We got Hunter Hunter going crazy. We got uh, Maggie going crazy. Free Ring going crazy. Fairy Tale going crazy. Reacher going crazy. Freaking the Glory going crazy. We got um, Undead on Luck dropping for everybody that was asking. coming. We got Logan. We got uh, Ted Lasso. We got um, silent movie. I mean, silent voice. <laughs> <laughs> silent voice. Um, your name, all these. Your name. No, we did. That was last week. We posted those. Your name. Nah, your so, name is coming. Yeah, it's coming. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We got your name coming. We got. Uh, Slam Dunk the coming. movie coming. Yeah. 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 Invincibles coming. We got yeah. Avatar coming. We yeah. got. Uh, Hackshaw Ridge. Hackshaw Ridge coming. Robocop. That's how you meant Flory. Yeah, um, Invincible yeah. Season 2 Part 2 coming. Did you say Deadpool? No. Well, we said Wolverine. Yeah, I'm good. Let's try it now. How do you feel about Kaido as a character? Kaido has been ruined for me as a character. As a fighter, I love Kaido. Right. But only as a fighter. As a character, I don't care about that nigga. I don't care. Why? I don't. I don't. Kaido's not even a character to me. He's just a nigga with a club. He's just a nigga with a club to me. <laughs> that's, that's, I mean, yeah. like, bro, there's nothing deep about Kaido. There's nothing deep about it. I think with Kaido, it was so much set up. I was excited for it. And then in the midst of it, it lost me because it seemed like he had no other purpose other than being strong. And then the whole Joy Boy section is a bit convoluted because it's almost like if he wanted to find Joy Boy or he was somewhat daring to. Uh, daring the universe to give him Joy Boy, and that Joy Boy was the only one to fight him, and he was always. So, like, what do y'all think about what they said so far? There's more of the clip. We could keep playing it, but I just want to hear your opinion. I see Pat over here. No, I agree. <laughs> just because, like, I feel like if there's a perfect time to give Kaido's backstory, it would be in Wano when we're fighting Kaido. Like, I don't know, or I I can't see a point in time where Kaido comes back and it's just like, oh snap, 
random Kaido backstory. Like, you know, Nigga, did, did that was real. Sanji, yo. Sanji was introduced. Sanji is part yeah. of the Straw Hats. That's his example. Sanji is part of the Straw 600 episodes later, Sanji is part of the backstory. That we see in every single arc that's never leaving. Yo, yeah, like what's he talking about? That's a terrible what he's talking about. Yo, that's this is yo, we're talking about, yo, what? We're, talk, what? we're talking about a fucking show that's a thousand plus episodes long. Why are people impatient to get a person's backstory if there's gonna be probably a thousand more episodes? Pat, there's because gonna be we're Pat, 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 we got you just bought a, is that you just podcast? exactly. I can't talk about what Otis gonna do in nine years. Yo, yeah, and, and Pat, and Pat, we just, yeah, I hope he does. We're talking about the Wano arc. What's happened? Yes. But and I, Pat, you just use you the just use Sanji as, as an example. Right now, one of the idol. main characters in the show that we see on. that we see all the time. Yes. Right? One of the main characters, we never got a full backstory on Sanji's family and who they were. It, it was inevitable because he's part of the Straw Hats, he's part of the big three on the Straw Hats, that we were going to get a backstory about Sanji and his family at some point because we see him it's, all that's the time. That's how I feel time. about Kaido. Kaido is not it's inevitable. No. Kaido they didn't give him a, 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 a backstory. My, my, first off, I don't agree with the notion that Sanji is um, part of the team. I feel like villains, when you have great villains, they are also part <laughs> of... My face Wait, was fucking Listen, hilarious. I'm not done, nigga. No, Pat's face is hilarious. Okay. <laughs> yes, uh, like I said... I uh, I stick with characters. I like um. I feel like the villains, the best villains, are also part of the team. Meaning, like a cell, a freezer. Like you become so good of a villain, so impactful as a villain, where you're as important as a main character or a main person on the team. So I feel like that comparison of Sanji and thing is the same because Kaido's impact on the show is so overpowered. And not only that, I don't agree with that clip because the simple thing is they're not seeing the art of being a warrior. Like, Kaido's story is about being one of the strongest warriors and never being satisfied with uh without getting that fight like Odin had, like, to go all the way Odin did. And his whole purpose is, yo, I want to reach the Joy Boy. If I'm not Joy Boy, I want to get to Joy Boy so I could fight the strongest and I could get killed. That's like a story of a warrior, a story of a, um, a soldier. And I feel like... It, uh, One Piece never really had that type of character, so I feel like you needed to bring in that type of character to show the impact of having a villain like Kaido, where it, it forces our main characters of the One Piece characters to evolve to go to higher levels. Like, we wouldn't have all these people um powering up if Kaido's wasn't <clears throat> as strong as he was and wasn't just about fighting. Like, mm -hmm. And the art of fighting is not... It's, I, it's it is an art, so I feel like that storyline is a, a story of a soldier. So I don't agree with that clip. So let me so I, let me ask you something. So you, so you're basically what you're saying is that it's okay that Kaido didn't get that much deep of a uh, backstory because he was he just loved to fight. No, but I'm saying that is the backstory. The fighting is I, the I, deeper story, and I feel like <laughs> they're gonna get more into it. But that is the story. You people might not like it, but that is a tr like in times there are warriors and fighters that literally want to find the best fighters. Like, that's actually some people's uh, passion. So I feel like, to me, I like that storyline. I think it is deep. It, as a fighter, like, he, we met him trying to kill himself. Like, he feels like he's so strong that, yo, I want to be able to die. Like, to me, that is, that's trauma. That's a lot going on in Kaido's mind. Like, what makes him, even him being mm -hmm. drunk, it's like, why is he always drunk? What is he trying to forget? What is he trying to suppress? Yep. And I feel like you have to look deeper into, like this podcast, Deeper Dives. But you gotta look deeper into these characters. It's not just a uh, uh, hammer. What's the thing? Club. club. Uh, it's club. not just hitting with a club. It's deeper than that, and it's deeper than well, rap. I agree. I it's agree with you in the sense of <laughs> liking the fact that he is a warrior and he is stronger and he wants to be the strongest. But my problem with that is is the fact that we didn't really get a play on what got him to that point. Like you even said, we didn't really get a play on what made him, what makes him drink so much. Like what got him to the point of being like, I want to be the strongest warrior. I feel like it was just more like. I want to be the strongest warrior, but why? How? How? What'd you get to that point? Like with Big Mom, well, when we, we did, got we her, did, because I feel like they, they they alluded to the fact that he thought he was Joy Boy. Yeah, mm -hmm. but what? But like, what got him to the? But we still didn't get to what got him to that point to thinking he was he was Joy Boy. He we didn't get much of an origin on Kaido, him. bro. Nobody was defeating him and stuff like that. So, so then it's like, he was the chosen. yeah. So yeah. like the fact that no one's beating me, I'm the strongest and shit like that. I gotta be Joy Boy and shit. Mm -hmm. And on top of that, we seen this dude have a relationship with Big Mom, that was enticing to me. And like, yo, you still don't even see like the whole relationship that he had with the Rocks Pirates. This nigga was in a, a fucking pirate group with Big Mom, him, and what was it, Whitebeard? 
Come on, my niggas. And we I, don't even got that. we don't know so, anything about that. Yo, that That's why we don't know anything yo, about his. We don't know right, anything about his childhood see, leading up thing, to him being that thing, warrior. Right, I enjoy a, a good foreshadowing. So if they foreshadowed that okay. this dude was a part of an elite all-star mm. pirate group, that lets me have the biggest anticipation to having his backstory in the future. So I enjoy that, knowing the fact that the show's not going to end anytime okay, soon. Okay, so I ask you this question. I ask you this question. I agree with you that if and when, if this happens, yes. then that makes Kaido a much better character to me. I yeah. will agree that you're, if what you're foreshadowing happens, but I'm also not going to say that every character I've watched, they're like lived up to the hype. So he just might not be a character that lives up to that. Do I think I that? Mean, do I think that? Obviously, he, but that's what I'm saying. Because basically, you, put, you can put money down that there's gonna be a backstory for him. Would you not agree? If you had to put fifty thousand dollars on that, yo, no, he's gonna have a no. Backstory. I'm not betting fifty thousand dollars on the fact that Kaido's coming back. No, I'm not doing that. That he's yeah, gonna have so a backstory. So that's what I'm basically saying. Based I'm on how we, based on how we watch One Piece, we can all make a prediction that. But yo, basically, for me, for me, that's the argument. That's the that's the Patrick Mahomes argument. Can he be great? Can that happen? Can this happen? Yes. I think it's possible to happen, but I'm not going to say because it didn't happen yet. I cannot. I'm not going to give my opinion. But that's title. happened. That has happened. That, that, that's like like that. I, but we, I think our long, yeah. we've seen that. Like, we met him, and then we got and his backstory later. With Fish and yeah, Tiger. So that's why I'm, I'm confused. Not, you, but the thing is, he's a lesser character. Our a lesser character. Wait, didn't we get our long backstory during that? No, we got it with Fish and Tiger, bro. It's not Kaido. He's not confirmed to be alive. So that's a little bit different too. No, no, but we asked you. We just said, do you? You just said, I'm not gonna put fifty thousand that he's yeah. not coming back. That's why we asked you that, and you yeah. also think that there's a possibility he could come back yeah, it's based on One Piece. Both. Yes. Oh yeah. So we're basing on One Piece and seeing how you're basing our... it on the assumption that he's coming back. And I'm saying that if that happens and if he gets the backstory, then I agree with you, niggas. I'm saying no, no. I'm basing it. Nah, I'm not. That's, that's not. That's not what I'm saying. I'm basing it on One Piece with characters yeah. and seeing that done before. It's more to just me thinking that there's evidence that One Piece shows Multiple that times. they do that. Actors, and having uh, and having a show that's over a thousand episodes, I know you can't. It, 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 it's it wouldn't even make. Bro. It, no, no. But it wouldn't even flow. It's like exactly. I, every time. Every time we we show characters, show their backstory. No, I like One Piece like that where you might meet a character and yes. get that backstory later because exactly. it's natural of the story. We're not just gonna force it because to make people like no that it's. A thousand plus episodes have patience. That's why on um, One Piece is not for everybody. It's a show of patience. You have to have um, patience is a virtue. And I feel like, yo, with characters like that, that's why we're patient. And we know seeing Kaido's story, we know they will get deeper. And I feel like even seeing Yamato, Yamato's his daughter. Even the relationship yeah. between them, I'm seeing his more of his story. Yep. His relationship with his daughter, the way he acts, well, the, like why his why his daughter even um chills with uh, uh looks up to Odin, yep. right? Yeah, yeah. 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 Looks, looks up to Odin. Why is that like to me? Why is he a bad father? Do you arc, care so way? much mm -hmm. about? Uh, do you care so much about fighting and being a villain than to take care? Of There's so much uh, details where if you really mm -hmm. look into Odin, I mean, I said Odin. Look into Kaido's Kaido. backstory. You can see, and I'm not saying here. I'm not saying here pleading that this nigga's the yeah. greatest or nothing yeah, at all. I understand. I think that. Okay, I get you. I get you. I'll get y'all point to uh, where you're saying that. Like, okay, that maybe at some point we'll get a backstory of Kaido. But up to this point, like in the arc, in the longest arc of One Piece, where we had the main villain, we didn't really get. I feel like we didn't really get much on the character because we still have all these questions. And keep in mind that was the longest arc of One Piece where Kaido was the main villain. Yeah, you and I'm saying up to this point, up to this point, <laughs> up to this point, because we don't have that full backstory on Kaido, I, I kind of agree with them. All right. All right, now, um, now this one, right, the clip continues, and it's kind of like uh, I'm stupid because you guys talked about how much of a war he is, and I feel like they have a counter for for that, too. So let's, let's play and hear what they say and see if you guys have some more to say about Kaido. About being challenged and fighting strong people. But every time he went against strong people, he never really fought them. Like, even when he went up against Odin, the shit got cut cut short because of the old hag. Oh, I killed the old hag. Okay, fight the nigga again. you kill with a gun? I thought you wanted, I thought you wanted, run. I thought you, I thought you was like that. That nigga gave you a scar that still aches when you see his sword and you didn't want it back? Oh, I killed, I killed the lady that interfered with our fight. Why you again? He got hit right after. Okay, you don't know what happened in regards to Mary Joa. But whatever happened, you turned away from, uh, not Mary Joa, Mary, Marine Ford. You turned away from Marine Ford, and you put Shanks in your top five. <laughs> I thought you wanted one. What is going on, Kylo? I don't, I don't, I don't 
understand it. The, the niggas that you said that are strong and that can give you run and that you feel like it's competition, you don't fight them. I don't get it. I really don't. So for Kaido, it seems like it is a lot of talk. It seems like he wanted things on his own terms. But when you have the opportunity to cash in on these things, like you're trying to pull up on an old white dude. What? No. <laughs> Bro, well, he's 0-2. Nah, nah, nah. Kyle's 0-2. They're, they're, they're tripping. They're tripping though, cause guys, my guy, he fought Big Mom. Like he pulled up like Big Mom, and Big Mom is the epitome of strong, especially at that time. He pulled up, Big Mom pulled up on him, and he shot her the shot fair the one. one right so what are there. we talking about? He's not fighting strong people. Yo, he went up against a whole worst generation, even though he dog walked them, but he still <laughs> went up against them. He went up against he went up against strong opponents. He did. And the thing is, too, <laughs> like, he, like, he couldn't run that shit back right then and there, nigga. Because the thing is... Yeah, I don't when, agree with that. I don't agree with that. he swung the club, and, like, uh, he ended up hitting Odin right after and fuck Odin up and shit like that. You're not going to run it back right then and there. Odin was fucked up. And he was swinging the club in the heat of the moment, too. That's another yeah. thing, too. So, so he like, couldn't even not... stop it, and he caught, yeah. he caught Odin right then and there, blasted him and shit like that. Odin was fucked up. He's aligned with Orochi. Orochi captured the nigga. And then they had him fucking in front of the whole town square. And, and at like the that. point, well, why is he like, scared of Orochi? No, 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 if, you were, no. if it was for real, though, it wasn't. No, 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 no. You, yo, you Wells, only you gotta run the fade back where Odin. Wells, you gotta think about it. It's nigga, tactical. It's tactical wait. at this point. He's not scared of Orochi. It's just like, yo, I'm going to keep staying on his good side. Yeah, I mean right? Odin, right? No, Orochi, Orochi, Orochi. Orochi. I'm going to keep Orochi staying on Orochi. I'm going to keep staying on Orochi's good side, right? And give him what he wants with Odin, right? So I could still, in the future, I will be able to dominate Wano, like the way he did, right? He, he wants Orochi to keep trusting him. So in order for him to keep trusting me, I got to be like, all right, all right, I'm going to bring you Odin. That's why he didn't shoot him the fair one again. Yeah, he's making <laughs> like, an example. That's why he put he's him in being, Town Square. He's being smart, like, and that's what an and that's what smart thing. villains do. They think about the long run, and that's what Kaido did in that moment. He thought about the long run. And that's the he, shit I'm talking about with that backstory shit. Because it's easy for a person to say that, like, yo, this nigga never fought, like, fought these people. Bro, we haven't even got this, do this dude's whole backstory in terms of who he fought. Obviously, he hasn't got to this point of saying he's the strongest person without fighting mad people and shit like but that. But this nigga fought Joy Boy. At the end of the day, he fought uh, Luffy. Luffy yeah. Yeah. Like, at the end of the day, we yeah, watched the whole Wano, yeah, so he, he already Orochi. fought. He fought the, one of the strongest of all time. He didn't time. kill Orochi. You he said that him. he fought. He, he cut his head off, but he didn't. He, he, he tried. He tried. He, tried. Yeah, yeah. he, he fought the, some of the new. And they always uh, come back. He fought some of the new generation pirates. He fought the three world generation, yeah. With Law, Kid, Luffy, and your boy, your green boy, fought him too. Yep. And yeah, I feel like, too, something, too, certain characters that we got to bring up that's also part of a Kaido story is the Beast Pirates with King, Queen, and Jack under him and stuff. Yeah. And I feel like they also play into his story. Like, at the King end of the day, played a major part of his story. Yeah. Bro. That whole backstory, like, that's that's what I don't get, though. It's like you have that that ill moment of, of Kaido and King. Their relationship as a youngin' and stuff like that. You see that, like, this nigga has, a, like, sympathy for King. He puts him under his wing and shit like that. I feel like that the dynamic between them two, that's already another thing that made me enticed to see more of Kaido right there. And the fact that he's, this nigga's a Lunarian, that, I feel like that was one of the biggest things within Wano that was just sprinkled in real quick. Yeah, but I think that uh, with King and Queen, I feel like they... Well, I think they could have done more with their characters. Because I feel like King, to me, King was probably the only one that had uh, Kaido really believing that he was Joy Boy. So I yeah. feel like they could have played a little bit more on their relationship. And um, it's too bad he had to go out to my boy Zoro and shit like that. You know, <laughs> but I love how you brought him up too, Robbie. Like, thank you for yeah. bringing up King. I brought him up because King, the reason why I love King, he's one of the best representations of having a black man on camera. <laughs> and Wano, I appreciate you for having my boy King. That's why you know I had to bring him up. Facts. It's Black History Month. Yeah. And we already know <laughs> somebody that's racist that beat him. So it's all good because he only picks on people that look like me. There's a so. couple videos that do say that, though. Yeah, so. Yeah, I know that. <laughs> They're fan made. I know, I know, B. But as henchmen, how would you rank them, Wells? Henchmen, like. Like amongst uh, every other henchman, yeah, I think they're definitely the strongest. Um, damn, I'm trying to see who. who I mean, think um, your uh, Ka um, Katakori. That was one of my favorite. Katakori, it's the best big mom player at least. Katakori is different. He fought Luffy, nigga. I know. And that was so he was like the fight. main. He was like the main. Yeah. So I was uh, big mom pirates is better than the beast pirates for sure. 
Mm. Overall? I do not agree. Really? Nah, I do not agree really? at all. Because you got to think about, yo, Katakori. Who's who is also a fucking a beast pirate too, bro. And who's who is better than... Who's who sisters? was like a moment he told us about the Nika fruit and then got his ass by Jim Bay. That was a yeah. good fight, bro. It was, it was, that was a good fight. Was a good it was fight. Don't tell me he's better than Katakuri. So no, no, I'm not saying King's that. better than Katakuri. King, I think King is better than Katakuri. Yeah. No, he's stronger than, than Katakuri, but he wasn't as fleshed out as Katakuri. No, he I wasn't. mean as a character. Yeah, I think Katakuri's gonna cool. take over the Big Mom Pirates. I think he's gonna play a huge role in, in you know in One Piece. But that's yeah. the thing. You said that you talking about Big Mom's henchmen. You just named Katakuri. Who else are you gonna bring up? Cracker? Pero spero. Pero ring. Yo, what? You look like that, that nigga, bro. It's because you look like that nigga. What the fuck? He didn't, he didn't wreak bitch, havoc bro. on them niggas, bro. Like, yo, Pedro Pedro Suero did his singing one. I'm killed, not gonna no. lie. But yo, like, he, Pedro Suero he... got his stripes because he killed Pedro. But other than that and shit like that, he, I'm like. And, I, pe- and let's not forget, Pedro's that he's, nigga. But, yo, but Pedro, like, he, he killed himself to kill Pedro Sparrow. You and failed. Here's the thing. Failed. Here's the thing. <laughs> he got taken up. Yo, Bell's Bell got taken up by fucking Carrot, nigga. Nah, but Carrot, but Carrot, but Carrot is up, the wait. leader of the Minx now. Yo. You know what I'm saying? They got they Carrot. Got, Carrot is that. Her name's Carrot. <laughs> She's like yo, that, yo, yo, bro. Yo, you, gotta put out the con- you also got to put in the context of him taking up Carrot, taking him out, too. She had a whole level up to take Too him long. out. Too right. long. Yeah. I get it. Too, I too, get too, it. Too, 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 I'm saying this in context of the fact that, like, yo. If you're comparing Beast Pirates to Big Mom yeah. Pirates, you have Pero Sparrow and you have Katakori. If we like, if we're going off of everything, fighting abilities, <laughs> fighter looks, all that shit, Pero Sparrow's ass, but he's strong. But if you look at the Beast Pirates, they also look cool and they're strong and shit like that. And I feel like if who else would you bring up other than them too when you come and talk about the Big Mom? Everybody Pirates? in the chat saying Big O. Big Bo, big o, big o, Cracker, big and it, Cracker. Make, you, you know how, dude, cra- well, Luffy fought Cracker for how many hours? A pole. Remember that? Yo. Yo, that, yes. that was lit, bro. Queen will give it to Cracker. Queen will, <laughs> Queen will dog no, walk Cracker. I admit <laughs> like, that the Beast Pirates are stronger, but I feel like better written, better developed, I would say the Big Mom Pirates are better. Okay. That's yeah, yeah. a different conversation in terms of develop. Because yeah. the thing is, they gave them, that was a whole arc just based on Big Mom's pirates and shit like that. So every how, time a new how, one was introduced, they got a backstory. How do y'all feel about Big Mom uh, playing second fiddle to Kaido? Like before uh, her, uh, before her, before we got introduced to Kaido, Big Mom was this big bad villain. And yeah. then getting introduced to Kaido, do you feel like, I feel like to me, her playing second fiddle made Kaido look that much stronger? That's true. Yeah, I do. To me. But it was saw, never conclusive that, that, like, she would, like, lose to Kaido. You know what I'm saying? Because, like. Because they, they, fought, they fought and they were neck and neck. Yeah. It wasn't. They didn't really. We didn't get to see the ending result of that fight. But it seemed like it was neck and neck. And it seemed like that they fight all the time. And they made an alliance. Yeah. And Which I'll proved t- that he was shook. Kaido was shook. He needed to make an alliance. Well, granted, uh, Luffy made an alliance with, uh, with Kid and um, Law. Law. Yeah. You know what I'm we'll saying? make them a New super generation. team. When they link up, meaning that they're a team in One Piece collectively together. <laughs> just, just saying. Nah, you know what the but, thing is? I don't like that comment though. Well, I don't, I don't agree that he was shook. I think, and he said it in the show too. It was like, <coughs> for me to fight you, it's gonna take mad time, yo. It's gonna deplete resources. I got, I got a plan that I'm trying to maneuver right now. So me trying to get these roll potty glyphs and stuff like that is gonna be deterred. If I'm fighting one of the strongest people in the waters right now, so that's not being shook. That's more being calculated. Yeah, shook. I was trolling. I was trolling. Oh, I don't nah. think he was shook. Yeah, it's like. But it nah, made it feel like it made it feel like um. Like we got a whole whole cake arc, right? Yeah. And we thought maybe, well, maybe we didn't think that Big Mom would get taken care of at that <clears> moment. <throat> but I didn't think that we would take care of two Yonkos in one arc. You that I mean? agree. Yeah, I agree yeah. With like that. I, I, I thought Kaido should have got his own, like. Fight. I should say, or like one. I think it should have been taken care of one and done with just Kaido alone and Big Mom separate uh-huh. instead of two. Because I feel like it, it we kind of um, Big Mom in a way was hold when she was portrayed to be this like strong ass person. I didn't think I really didn't think <laughs> they had to kid. I, don't, I, don't, I didn't think I don't, kid and Law would still be able to take down I, I, Big Mom. I don't, I'm not gonna lie. I don't necessarily. I don't necessarily agree with that. I don't necessarily. I don't necessarily agree with that because. 
Like, they did it with, thing, with Dopamingo. The, the one thing with when Lord taxes, like he mom, whoops a lot of people's they, ass. They, right? The one thing with Big Mom and that storyline and whole like cake, Domingo, right? And whole cake. <laughs> yo, let me finish saying what I'm saying. Man. Like, yo, do keep talking to me about Dopamingo. <laughs> like, um, the one thing with Big Mom and whole cake. He was. That's it. Um, the the one thing with whole cake that I liked was the fact that it realistically. Big Mom is an emperor, right? And realistically, they couldn't take out Big Mom because she was that strong. And we showed it showed how strong she was in Whole Cake because she wasn't defeated in Whole in Whole Cake. So at some point in time, we're gonna have to see a later point to where we're gonna be able to defeat King Mon, um, Big Mom, right? I I think it makes sense that it was a two on one to take down Big Mom, and it was later on to show that these two members of the worst generation, Law and Useless Kid. Got stronger. Shut the hell up. <laughs> Did you just say useless? Um, <laughs> I don't even know how you say that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo, I was about to say. I don't know how you say that. But, yeah. when we're talking about but it shows. Moment in the but it shows them. It shows them. God it shows damn. Them, it shows them like, getting what? stronger to take down Big Mom and leveling up to take down Big Mom to let you know that this is gonna take a little bit more time. You know what I'm saying? And honestly, like with how long Wano was, it shows how long how strong the Emperors were because it took a long ass time to take out Kaido too. Kaido was whooping everybody's ass until for a long he was, time. for a long time. And then he finally took an L, like, what, a year later? <laughs> but yep. for, for the show, like... And Big Mom Pirate's still here, though, because we just, we just saw in the last newest episode of One Piece, man, pudding is an important part, bro. Mm -hmm. Blackbeard had to go t catch a lick. Yeah. By the way, I forgot, so I could talk yeah, about it because I did I, talk about it. So her I third eye, could, she can read Ponyless. So I just didn't remember when they said that, but that's why she's so important to Blackbeard. Mm -hmm. That's very essential. Because Blackbeard yeah. is trying Fuck to get Nico Robin. I could just use you instead. <laughs> yeah, he's trying <laughs> to get. Remember, he's no, that's I'm saying. Yeah, I get you. Yeah, I get you. Yeah, because remember, he's trying to like um beat uh Law for the rubbings of the pony Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Facts. That's so smart. Shout out to, we got 500 people in here, man. Shout out to everybody that's here this yes, early morning, man. Make sure you like this up, like it this up. Happy and Valentine's you, Day, y'all. Happy Valentine's Day for all the lovers out there, Fact all the though. anime lovers, all the nah, regular lovers. I love lovers. you niggas, though, for real. I'm about to say, I you're like, for real, y'all. I love y'all too, bro. Nah, nah, but my Valentine is you guys, you, all you subscribers out there being with us on Valentine's Day, yo. You know the first people we want to be with on Valentine's Day is you guys. So we appreciate all you guys showing love. Make sure you like it up, like it up, like Ow. it up. And if you haven't already, guys, we are in the golden era, the new golden era of RTTV. Oh, right now shit. on Patreon, shit is Fat going dope. crazy. We got full reactions to Magi. Just to give you a quick thing, Magi's fucking fire. Fire. We're loving Magi's it. Lit. Sinbad just showed up. Yeah, yeah. Yes, it's on fire. Seeing that Aladdin, that whole world is adapting to anime is fire with the um the Jinns. Yeah, the gins. The yep. gins and all that. Mm -hmm. So make sure you check that out. We got free ring going crazy. Free ring's and for fire. all the haters out there that thinks RTTV can't understand free wing isn't gonna like it. My nigga, we love that shit, man. I nigga. got comprehension. Yeah, really yeah. Yeah. I, we got college degrees out here. Yeah, yeah. Nigga, I can read. Yeah. Shout out to all the elves out there. What's some things y'all like about free wing for the people that don't know? Man, I love the dynamic of the show. Like the fact that this woman has been wandering the earth for a thousand years, gathering up spells, and like she finally getting like her sense of humanity with this new group of shit. Shout out to homie. Um, what's the dude with Stark. the red? Stark. Stark. That nigga's mm -hmm. lit, bro. Real shit. Facts. And we got solo leveling going Ooh, crazy. How y'all like leveling. it solo leveling, solo leveling right now? Nah, fellas. solo leveling is nutty right now, bro. Like my boy, damn, I'm gonna say his name wrong right now. Send Jin Woo. It's Jin Woo. Right, I'm gonna say you. Woo. You should have let him try. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You should have let me go, yo. <laughs> Jin Woo. Yeah. <laughs> Jin Woo is that man, bro. Yo, he's the first character. How do you do different character episode one to episode six? That Looks fine. completely different. Sound completely different. It's a different man, bro. Yeah, Shit's so, different out here. So make sure you check out our page on for all that good stuff. And guys, while we're in that area talking about it, let's get into the Wano fights. Mm -hmm. Oh shit, let's get it. We ready there already. So y'all yeah, were talking law. Law, yeah. Law, law kid. Law kid. The big mom. One of the best fights in the whole Wano. Facts. Yeah. Kid's best best uh best showing of the entire fucking series. And I think he needed that shit, yo. Yeah, because yeah, there's some characters that we watch get really fucking hold. Like uh Yo, honestly, Momo Momonosuke in this arc was so trash because he just got hold yo, the whole time. Bro. Momonosuke was he the most hold, annoying. That's a fact, bro. He got hold the whole time. So I feel like, yo, we actually got to see Kid take a dub. It was enjoyable. It was with your boy Law. Like, and he didn't, it's not like he didn't do shit neither. They didn't just make it like, yo, Law, go out there. Yeah. Make this whole ass nigga look good. No, he did his fucking thing, bro. Facts. So shout out to Kid, bro. A lot of, yeah, a lot of haters out there. Yeah, and I feel like 
Wano to me, going into Wano and seeing that it was taking more of like the Japanese type of um culture or like sam like samurai is type of fighting. Mm-hmm. I expected my fight scenes in Wano to be bigger than any previous One Piece yeah. fights, mm-hmm. and I feel like the impact, the animation styles, the money they put into it, and the co- the choreo the choreogra- choreography, choreography yeah. they had for the fight scenes was so fire. Because I feel like everybody's fighting style had um a different appeal to it. Like your boy um Zoro and King's, I mean in um Kaido's fight, seeing the the samurai, the swords, and seeing him, even him even step it up. Not not even hating, yeah. but like even? he definitely did. Huh? He definitely he definitely did his thing in that fight, and I feel like the quality that they put into it was uh a one. I feel like the law and kid fight, the gun, his gun, um, his, him, just the impact of his gun, and then seeing a big ass sword going down on Big Ma, going to hit the land, um, going down on the ground, and then also just seeing the Bugs Bunny type of style well, yeah. fighting with Luffy. I feel like they experimented so much with the fights. I feel like every fight was kind of inspired. By uh by something like, even my mm. boy Green Bull when Green Bull came through because that's that's not that's Wano. the one that's, that's the one that's the one yeah when my boy Green Bull yeah. came through with the wood style too like I just feel like it was and then seeing Odin um the supporters of Odin or whatever they call Akazaya nine Akazaya yeah. nine too yeah. them getting bodied was fire yeah, yeah. I, I I have to say definitely all of the fights if not the majority of the fights in Wano they were all they were elite. Like even one of my favorite fights too is Nico Robin versus Black Maria because Yo, we saw Nico Robin that. do some. She turned into a demon pretty mm-hmm. much. She, did. And she she beat up Black Maria with that fight. Um, I want to say like even yo Luffy versus Luffy versus Kaido when he turned Gear Five is one of the greatest things that I've seen in anime of all time because the art to Robbie's point the cartoon art art style we've never seen that in any anime. Or within every, any transformation, which is why I think that Gear Five is the best transformation to this point because of that art art style. Um, Sanji versus Queen, he leveled up. He went crazy. Zoro versus King, he went dummy. He went crazy. Yes, it was a power up. Wells, um, every single damn near every single fight within Wano push was back. Akazai nine fight was trash, but yeah, no, 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 no
once he stepped into that fucking, he went into this whole temple and murdered everybody there. And then we got one of the illest, quickest fight sequences ever with Killer and and my boy, my boy Zoro. That exchange between them two Nothing was the real. illest shit ever. And then to come to find out later on, because at that moment you didn't know he's Killer, that is Killer. Come on. Yeah. How, how the fuck Zoro got the best fight in the arc? He's not the main character. Him yeah. and King had the yeah. best fight. Yeah. Yo, just to, just to let wait, you guys wait, wait, know that's a fact. That. Yeah, fact. just to let you guys know. Uh, oh, wait. It ranked wise, um, on a lot of uh, the Zoro fight is uh, Zoro and King fight is ranked four, and three is Kid Law versus Big Ma, and then that's on that one. Number two, which it, it is what it is, Worst Generation versus Kaido and Big Ma. So all those fights <coughs> to get, are just considered Worst Generation is not. And just remember the highlights of those I'm fights. Yeah. It's Zoro, let's not yeah. forget. Guys, if you um, the reason why I'm bringing it up to the subscribers, I'm gonna let you in. We had an argument probably yesterday or two days ago, and I was saying that uh, Zoro's fight with Kaido was all of them fighting. It wasn't just Zoro versus uh, Kaido, and these guys was telling me no, that was a, a Kaido and Zoro fight. And now, based on this, it's actually a collective fight. They don't. No, nah, they have as... a separate one that says just Zoro and Kaido. No, nah, they don't. I swear to God. No, nah, I'm looking at it. No, nah, that's a different list. list. Oh, this is a different list. It's a different list. It's a different list. What you mean? Oh, my what? fault. You're talking about Kaido. My fault. You got it. You got it. My fault. I think you said a uh, thing, King. My fault. Go ahead. Yeah. No, well, King's on the list. King's four. Yeah, no, no, he my fault. My fault. Yeah, King's King for Kaido. Two Ks. Two Ks. Keep in mind. Keep in mind. Zoro did inflict a very significant blow no, that's fine. to Kaido. But they Scarred all jumped him. The only it's like, it's like him, we jump somebody and then Jerry gets a, fu- a superpower hit. Nah, 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 nah. That's not how it works. That's not how it works. Kaido wins all those fights. Literally, the highlights of those fights is Zoro, like, because they were getting the ass whooped. Zoro had to protect Luffy. Everybody was going in, though. No, Luffy, he had to protect Luffy when he was going down. And he had, like, literally, like, a one on one with Zoro. I mean, with Kaido. He hit him. He threw a couple shit to them. Even had Big Mom screaming, "Kaido, dodge, yeah. dodge, Kaido!" Was, they were actually shook in that moment. Yeah. Bro, I actually remember, remember that too because no, he did it. He brought that up in the reaction. It's not a one-on-one. They had one, to give though. his sword a backstory. Yeah, that's Odin's sword. That's why he was able to cut his ass. Like they had to give him a whole backstory for that moment. No, no, but that's what was Odin's sword, which was part of the Wano story. It was Odin. Story. It was Odin's. Yeah, oh, yeah, that's yeah. what I'm saying. So I'm it's part of the Wano story. I, I mean, you yeah, said it was yeah. so thin that they had to give it, it was part of the story already. It was Odin. But I mean, it's Zoro was part of the story. No, know? I know, but it's we had to Odin. Get a whole other you get what I'm saying? It's like, it's like, it's like, no, but it's Odin's sword is what I'm saying. It was I agree. Already part, even if it wasn't for Zoro, that sword would still be part of the story is what I'm saying. It's Odin's sword. He's saying that you can't, can you can't give Zoro credit for something that's already going to be, be a part the of the story. story. It that's might not have played a big important role like that, but it's Odin. I'm basically, you made it seem like they only gave a backstory because he used it. And it, it was, uh, uh. It's a corporate. But I'm like, Nobody else was getting that sword, bro. It's clearly no, that, no, no, I know, but I'm saying. No, that's, the, yeah, that's I'm basically that's saying that the sword has its own, is its own life. That's it had its own thing, for yeah, sure. that's all bro, I'm saying. Bro, she's freaking, he already played a goddamn violin or whatever she played. And the song went to the sword and then they had the whole shit, like. I feel you, Shout but we needed story. Zoro for that. Nah, we did, Shout out to and Zoro. he did, and he gave a final hit. But I just, I just like how you guys try to manipulate me for thinking it was considered a one-on-one fight, and I like that game, game rant, and I, um, comic. What was that again? <laughs> we yo, said it was a one on one. No, we didn't say it was a one on one. We didn't say it. Who the fuck said that. it was a one on one, nigga? The last Zoro argument I remember no. is about Urza Scarlet. No, 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 I don't know what he had a one on one with Kaido, and I'm like, yo, that's considered. fought Kaido. Okay. And he said that I, he inflicted nah, the biggest right. nah, 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 Say that yeah. again on camera then. It wasn't a one-on-one, right? It, it wasn't. wasn't one-on-one. Uh, Thank you. What the fuck? I'll yes. Be, I'll be tripping if I said that. Yes. I don't remember us. Thank you, guys. I think Kaido fought that, for like, 962 hours and 55 minutes. Bro. Like He fought, yeah, by the way, he fought Yamato. That was a great fight, by the way. I enjoyed watching Yamato versus Kaido. Yeah, that show was smooth because it goes to show fire. how strong Yamato is, especially when she has her evolved form, her, what was it, her beast form and shit like that. That shit was cold as fuck, yo. Yamato, you need more credit, even though you're a cornball for now. Actually, I do respect why you stay b- behind. I feel you. Yo, but like, it even, took me a minute to realize that. But like, I, I just, <laughs> one of the things I enjoyed about Wano the most was just watching Kaido whoop people's asses for as long as he did because he yeah. was taking dubs for back, 40 to back, episodes. To back to back to back to back to back to back, like for a whole damn year. Bro, Chopper <laughs> had to save our ass, bro. But if we didn't have Chopper Woodis, we shot the oh, Chopper. We was fucked a long time. Yeah, we have Chopper. Yo, we have Chopper. Zoro probably be dead. I'm not gonna lie to you. No cap, bro. They, <laughs> they had yeah. Zoro in the freaking <laughs> cast yeah. like this. Yeah. They had to carry his ass around. They turned into the passion you, of Zoro. Like, yeah, the, the <laughs> wow. After watching Hacksaw Ridge, <laughs> I have. I was after, gonna say yo, about after, it, after watching Hacksaw Ridge, I definitely have more of an appreciation of Chopper. 
in that moment. Oh, yeah. yeah. Like, <laughs> I'm yeah. having a, a healer no, on And not only nigga. that, bro, <laughs> we medic. freaking, didn't he, like, let out, like, some poison or some shit? And then Chopper had to, got the beast poison, and then he had to think of a thing mad. It wasn't like, spot. Like, no, was not, it was, it was like like one that, of the, like, It was one of their pirates that was, that let out. it was, like, the frozen part. It was Queen. Queen let off the queen, shit yeah. that basically turned these people to Onis. Yeah. Onis. And Sanji whooped Queen's ass. Yeah. One of the most controversial fights. The one that I think has a as big as a transformation impact as any transformation impact, the Gear Five Luffy Facts. versus Kaido. Yeah. Five months later, mm-hmm. what are our opinions? How do we feel the impact was? How are we feeling? What, what, what's the, what's the car? The do we feel like it made an impact in the anime community? Definitely. Yeah, definitely. definitely. I, I think especially for like that shit stopped the internet. That was the biggest thing on the internet. Like. People I know that don't even know what One Piece is ask me about One Piece because they know we watch One Piece after that. Like, I think that what I've realized uh, through all these years of watching One Piece, and I feel like I appreciate it even more now because we're current, they're the fucking innovators, bro. Like, I don't, like, I feel like Oda's never stopped innovating and changing the game. So I think they always going to be ahead to me in terms of, like, creativity and animation and how they change shit. I fuck with One Piece for that. Honestly, for me, it's like, that fight reminds me of, like, the Balenciaga triple S's. Like, when it first came out, that shit's dope. It was different and shit like that. Damn. But I don't think nah, it had... they they're still hot. They got some fire ones. I actually seen some. Yeah? yeah? Like, for me, like... Not it, the it, boy Roshi. He actually had a Yeah, he did. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It wasn't as popular as it was at the time that first... I feel like it was very nah, innovative at that time. So, like, I feel like in terms of replay like value... The style of shoe at that time. Like not even just the triple S in general, yeah. like the bulky fucking. Exactly, it was very like that was, was that like, that was yeah. that moment right there. So yeah. I feel like at that moment it was yo Gear Five extremely innovative, very different, dope. But I don't feel like it has the replay value as other mm. fights that I will go back to to rewatch and shit like that. I'll go back to rewatch Zoro versus King before I go back to watch that. Like no. I'll go. I'll f- tell you why though. I feel like um I think you say that only because Zoro versus King is literally like you could watch one episode and. And see the whole shit with Gear Five. You could watch the transformation, but it, it, as far as his fight with Kaido, it went on for a little bit. So it was like three, ep- three, four episodes type shit. I think it's even a little longer. Yeah, yeah. I think it was a little longer than that. But like, you know, I- and because you know how they ju- like to jump around a little bit. So, but you know how YouTube, like, I right, for example, Togoro and Yusuke. Like, that shit's not just one episode. I could go on YouTube and shit like that, and I could get it all condensed. I'm saying, like, even if they had a condensed version of it and stuff like that, I'm, I, me, I don't see myself going back to replay that and stuff like that. I still go back to see Tagoro and Yusuke and shit like that. But I'm not going to go back to me to go back and watch that exchange. Because I, I think it was more of a display of Lucy's, Luffy's power versus really them going back and forth like that. See, so I, I disagree just because... Here's the thing. In, and we will in, be reading y'all, uh, y'all super chats. Yeah. I just want to let y'all know right now. My fault. But yeah. in the history of just me watching anime throughout the years and in for how long have that we've been watching One Piece, it's very seldom that I go back to <coughs> One Piece fights, right? Until the arc of Wano. That's when I started being like, oh snap, these fights are crazy. And mm-hmm. I think that Gear 5 is one of those fights because one, it's it's way different than any transformation that we've ever got. I've already, I voiced this so many times. Um, and it's just like the fight, the fighting style that he had throughout it and even just a look, the look of it. Like if you watch it on a different TV, like I was watching it at the crib and I'm like, wow, this looks even better the first time I was watching it, right? And I feel like there was a little bit of a back and forth because it wasn't that easy. You hear what you just him. said? What? A little bit of a back and forth. There was a compare compare that fight. No, actually, compare no, I'm that tripping, fight, I'm tripping, fight I'm tripping, to I'm Itadori. I'm tripping. And Hold on, wait, 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 let me finish. I'm tripping. Come I'm tripping. on, my I'm nigga. Tripping. Because it's there actually a fucking comparison, there was there was there was a back and forth because comparison. because yo, it's not to say that <laughs> Luffy turned Gear Fight and whooped and whooped uh, Kaido's ass. They were going at it for a little bit, and Kaido was landing a lot of hits on Luffy. There was even a point in time where Luffy got so tired that he went out of Gear Five, a thousand. and he was because he was drained because. Even while Kaido, even while he was in Gear 5, Kaido was still giving him the work. Because this nigga Luffy was treating everywhere like a trampoline, my nigga. That's what I'm saying. It was cool for that moment. But if we're going to go to the fights of, of, of animes in general, my nigga... Nigga, I'm not watching that. If you told me, uh, Pat, choose well, here's my thing. right now. Well, here's my thing. Here's my thing. Yo, Luffy uh, my, did that. My pushback to that, that would be like, yo, uh, one... If you're talking triple S's, like that was your example you made. Yeah. 
we only seen one triple like we only seen one one gear five we've seen it once yeah we haven't seen it since yeah so i feel like we still have it like there's gonna be different like when we see it again i feel like that's when i'm gonna need to make my because we're not just saying if we're asking me if you're asking me was the gear five fight the best it fight in anime i would not part. agree but what you asked what was your question how did you pose the question you said was gear how's five, it feel replay five, value replay value you know, right? he said five months later how, how do, do you, you guys feel, feel about, about it? it? I, I still like feel it. it's great. I like it, but I feel like I can like it more in like time passes, bro. Yeah, like, at the end of the said. day, you know how much anime we watch. I think it was great in that time. I still I think, think it's great. So great. We only seen it one time though. And I Yo. think, and that's the thing too. I think it's great. I think it's great. Fucking kind on the backstory. I think it's great. No, but no, no, that's different. No, you, that was it. When you never said, you say, "Yo, has nigga, Luffy used this shit, every we're talking gear. about Wano Luffy, right now. Has Luffy used every gear more than once, other than Gear Five? Yes. Do you think he's gonna use Gear Five again? So, oh, so, so in One Piece, right, wait, do we not get do we not get backstories in the future? Yes, but here's my thing. So how? If I had to say what I said too, because one's more probable. If I had to put fifty thousand on the fact that if I had to put fifty thousand on the fact Gear Five is gonna happen, Luffy is still here. He's put, actually right no, about I that. Get it. I get it, again. but nigga. Would you put 50,000 you're going to see Gear 5 again? Yeah, <laughs> yes. So, yes, everybody would do that. Not everybody's going to say, I'm putting 50,000 that we're getting the cattle backs better odds, nigga. That's what I just said. <laughs> but my, yeah, and my thing is like I like the fact, that, I like the fact that we've only there's the thing we're not even we're not even fully into Egghead yet, so we haven't really seen much of we haven't seen much of Gear Five in the Ed, Egghead arc. I like the fact that we saw it. I like the fact that we saw it once to this point and how good it was. The introduction of it and everything, like the introduction, the fight. I think like going back to it, it's still great. It's still great, bro. Yeah, it's, yep. it's like it's like the I'll bring up Super Saiyan. Obviously, we're going yeah, to that's a perfect Saiyan. example. It's like I don't think uh, Cell, I mean Frieza versus Goku is the best fights ever, but it's one of the most iconic moments in anime. Period. Mm -hmm. I feel like uh, Luffy going Gear Five <laughs> and fighting Kaido. I think we're always gonna remember. I feel like if you Googled anything One Piece or watched any anime during that time on the internet, you was most likely gonna see. Gear Five or some shit. I you agree. know what I'm saying? So sure. everybody's seen, everybody's seen Gear Five, and everybody remember it, um, like they do Super Saiyan One, I think, or like we did Super Saiyan One. I think even more people will remember Gear Five. Yo, I yo, I just want niggas to know that I had the same argument during the actual reaction, and you niggas was all saying I was crazy. Well, I, I was that Gear what Five is gonna be as impactful as the Super Saiyan One transformation, and I know people in the comments, you, you could remember that I did. No, 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 I'm not saying did you I say I know you said that. that. I know uh, you said that, but I'm he's saying, saying who opposed you, he's saying. No, nah, people did. Yeah, I opposed me. I appreciate sure it was you. But well, it um, was me? Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. I placed it. I put your five on a pedestal. Yo, yo, hold on. I didn't Why even get to I didn't, <laughs> And then they just recorded, so I'll find I'll figure it out. But I didn't get to speak on Somebody my Somebody put a clip on it. Yeah. yeah, please, please. Because I actually want to know if it was me. Because I y'all know y'all see me put Gearfire on a pedestal so many times. Yo, all right, so um what yeah, to Patrick, I feel like Gear 5 is definitely a fire fight. I feel like it's rememberable. It's, uh, it stands out. And I feel like Oda, Oda did, like, you could tell Oda really took all the time in the world. Like, yo, let me foreshadow Gear 5. Let me get everyone built up for it. But let me not make it as similar or predictable as Gear 1, Gear 2, Gear 3, Gear 4. And then I feel like he sat down like, yo, how could I change it? But then not only that, how could I make it where it's not even comparable to other animes? Like, I want this transformation to be of its own. I want it to stand the test of time. But not only that, I don't want it to push away from casual anime fans or casual watchers. Something that could, I'm grasping minds, and I feel like, studying a lot of old cartoons and stuff watching the bugs bunny the animation styles of those those animations are very friendly to the eye color peeling with the white and gray and very um it's like it's very uh aesthetically like pleasing. yeah very aesthetically pleasing and very aesthetically remind remindable because <clears throat> it's it's other animations don't really do looney tunes no. type of style and stuff so i feel like he got inspirations i'm pretty sure i forgot one of y'all did say that he he did get inspiration or he did watch one of those uh, yeah. Bugs, yeah. Bugs Bunny things. And I feel like him taking that risk, knowing that, yo, everyone's going to watch this fight. And you know what? Let me give you the King Kai uh, King uh, Zoro fight. Let me give you the King, I mean, the Kaido Zoro fight. That's similar, as impactful as all the enemies out there. But it has, like, that a brawler. It's, like, punching, mm -hmm. fighting that. The, For me. What you yeah. like mm -hmm. in it. And I feel like he gave... It's like an album. It's like, yo, my nigga, I'm gonna give you. Now nah, I'm gonna give you. I'm gonna give you this record, mm -hmm. but the, the the big record is gonna be for the world. 
Like niggas like you, here's King, here's Kaido. Here's uh here's Kaido his Zoro. Here's King his Zoro. Like that type of fighting. Mm-hmm. For this fight, I feel like how can I make it stand the test of time? And I feel like that animation style was more appealing because that everyone seen it because it was very it was so Looney Tunes, but the color correction of uh Luffy's color, like just the white transformation, just that stands out compared to other characters. And I feel like it is. It's just not in the sense of the traditional it's anime not fighting. And yeah, I and I like think, that. and I think that's why I like it so much because he gave you so many fights of that. Like it, that fight wouldn't even be remembered if it was like that. If you make, if you, if you mm. get what I'm saying, like it wouldn't that's be tough. as memorable. That's, it that's a good point. Hang on, nah, that's a good that's point. Tough. That's a good point. <laughs> and I do, that's I, I, tough. Robbie, I definitely agree with you on that because it was so different to what we typically see in animes. Which is why it's like when you said that, I was the one who said that. It was, I think, I, I think I said something along the lines of. Right now, it's not as impactful, but eventually, at some point, it could be, right? Because I still feel the same way about Gear 5. You know what I'm saying? Because, like, nobody has ever done that in anime. We've never seen that in any anime, that animation style, the colors, the way the they incorporated modern American cartoons with anime. We've not seen that much. I'll be a bug with you. My final thing on it. I think that the next exchange that we have of Gear 5 is going to give me what I want from Gear 5, while this, what we got before is just more of a display of what Gear 5 is. And make sure y'all vote in this poll right now, man. We got a poll up right now. We want to hear what y'all think about Gear 5, too. And we're actually going to um have another poll going up. And, guys, let us know. We got our next podcast is uh February 28th. Yes, sir. And the topics that we have, we're going to let y'all vote for the next uh topics we talk about. We have... RGTV breaks down Hana Hana Kamara Ant. Well, oh, forget it. We can't do that. RGTV breaks down um Naruto. Damn, I can't do that. Because yeah, Evan. All right, RGTV breaks down the Shibuya incident arc. RGTV breaks down uh Shig- Shigashin arc attack on Titan. Shiganshina. Return yeah. to. Are you saying Joel? Shiganshina. Uh, so. uh-huh. <laughs> what do you say? Return to is return to Shiganshina. <laughs> Mm-hmm. All right, so return to Shiggy, Shiggy. the Tag on Titan one, <laughs> the JJK one I just packed, yep. uh, Marine Four, and uh, Thousand Blood War arc. So those are the four arcs that we're mm-hmm. gonna let you guys choose. That we're gonna um will be the next topic in a deep dive for the next podcast, which will be February eighth. So again, Evan, that would be. Let me give give me one second. February let me write this down 8th. while you say February it. 28th. But yeah, just wanted to let y'all know we got eighty three percent saying Gear Five. Five months get later is goaded, and seventeen percent of y'all said, "Eh." So Pat, you Shout got seventeen percent. You got about seventeen percent. real ones. Yes, sir. percent. I hope y'all yeah. vote for a thousand year with blood war arc. Yo, that was one of the best arcs, other than Shibuya arc. We can't yo. break that one down. It's like two more parts though. Oh, it is. Yeah, there's two more parts so, left. Um, for which so, one? Um, I can't do so far. Huh? We can't do so far. <laughs> so arc then. Which one? No, no, forget it. He didn't watch so either. Well, let's vote on the three that that you have. Which one uh, is it? It's Return to Shiganshina. Yeah. Uh, Shibuya. Mm-hmm. And then we can't do we can't do Naruto. No, it's yeah. thousand. We can't do a thousand. He said. Yeah, because there's two more parts. Yeah, right. No. Is it Shima what, or Shima? Another one though. Shima. Society. What was the other one? Soul Society. Was that's that Bleach. Arc? That's another BA. That's one we brought. Soul Society. Soul Society arc. There's still yeah. a lot to talk about when it comes right. to that. So guys, <laughs> those 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 are the three topics. Over there for the next week, so make sure you guys. Oh no, vote. and Marine Ford. I think you said Marine Ford. Yeah, Marine Ford. Yeah, yeah, I have Marine Ford on there. And Marine Ford. So make sure uh you guys vote on that. And um. We got super chats. Yeah, we got yes, super we chats too. So we got uh return return to Shiganshina Shibuya arc, uh Marine Ford and is that it? I figured. Wait, didn't we just say so, so society? Yeah, yeah bro, so society. Yeah. And guys, with these arcs, like we said. We're going to take deep dives. We're going to break down characters, storylines, fights, and just get into the deeper of it. And you guys could send, um, you guys get to call in and stuff. So make sure you guys sign up to our Discord. So next week, you guys could call in with any questions or anything when we figure out what arc we're going to do for next week. But remember, February 28th, we do two podcasts every month, every other. So this Wednesday, we got it. Next Wednesday, we're off. That Wednesday we're on, so every other. That's how you say it? Every other? Yeah, yeah. Yep. So on and off, yeah. So And we're going to get into some super chats, and then we're going to get into the deeper plot meaning Let's of One Piece. Let's get it, man. We got some super chats. Shout out to Black Phoenix 17 Donated and said, Rob, was there enough black representation in Wano? Yes. K. 
King was amazing. Black rep- rep- representation. Kaido's black. Kaido's black. Blackbeard. Blackbeard wasn't a character. I know, but I just seen him last week in Long. Usopp. Usopp's Usopp, black. Usopp's son. Oh, Usopp's Usopp. black. Come on, man. You're right. Yeah, Real nigga. Usopp didn't do much in Wano. That's not even hate. That's just true. Nice. Yeah. That's a fact. He didn't do much in Wano. Did I don't even want to argue with you right now. Uh, he did it. <laughs> delusional, delusional Jerry, I mean, Delusional Lotus donated and said, I enjoyed Zoro's expanded backstory slash family tree in Wano. It was more subtle than I expected, but Zoro's character is already pretty, pretty subtle, so it works. That's true. Uh, Booty Liquor 2000 Ow. Uh, donated. I know what that person's doing on Valentine's Day. Uh, reading Wano Weekly at some point uh, became tiring and went in. In kind of when is it gonna end? Kind of feeling. However, the anime made Wano a hundred times better. Rewatching Wano from beginning to end will be much more appreciating. And uh, Spogunky donated and said, "Y'all gonna watch the new Seven Deadly Sins season?" Question mark. Uh, we're probably not gonna watch the Seven Deadly Sins. <laughs> 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 but um, I agree with you on the uh, the Zoro the super chat. That's it. And then what was before that? Which one did you ask? Uh, you're talking about the I enjoyed Zoro's backstory super chat. Yeah, and then there was one after. Oh, that. the one the manga uh, reading one like, a week. Oh uh, yeah, re- it was kind of like yes, dragged expand out. on that. Yeah, I think back. reading the because I kind of bulk read a lot of Wano, but there was certain parts where like it might have seemed a little dragged out. Um, but I still think reading it would have been better than watching it, only because watching mm-hmm. it is uh, over a hundred episodes. Yeah. So I think I can get through it a lot faster. You know what I'm saying? That's mm-hmm. how I like to gauge it. You know. Because if I'm spending, I don't know, Wano was pretty lit in the anime, though. It was. Yeah. Like, you would say that they interpreted well, like, in terms of translating the manga to the, the anime? The anime is way better, I would say. So, mm. actually, because, you know, some of the fights, you can't get. Yeah, you can't get like, that impact. Especially with Zoro, from the very beginning, he was going off. So, um, I'll say the anime is better. Absolutely. So, actually, anime would be better to watch. Okay. So, how do we feel about uh, Wano the entire story do we feel like one popular opinion is that it was too long it, it lasted how many years coming out i think it was it was four years coming out and then it was like 148 chapters usually chapters were coming out like once a week but oh, there c- could be some breaks yeah so wait four years with the manga four years with the anime manga probably about the same that's absurd, bro. Because <laughs> for us, it was one year. Yeah. Well, that's that's why I keep saying. Say, you know, that's crazy. why I keep saying a year later. It's un- it's, it's un- it, us. We feel different about it. Yeah, like, for I have me, a different perspective. for me, because there was so much great story in Wano, yeah. it didn't feel as dragged out to me. Mm-hmm. But if I had to wait four years, I could see me being like. Motherfucker, just give me Wano, man. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but because we got to watch it so like so often, I don't get that feeling. Like, and I feel like. There was so much emotion and character development throughout Wano that I really enjoyed it. Yes. Like, Odin might be top one backstory in all of One Piece to mm. me. Like, Odin's story, like, what he was doing to these people, the smile fruit, how that came back into this. Yeah. Like, even the Akazaya 9, their whole story and yeah. how crazy that ended up being towards the end. We got to finally see Shogun Orochi die. Uh, the way we got the backstory on the swords that Zoro's getting. Yeah, you still, you got... You like, stick, there's so much you shit. With that older shit, because, like, bro, even the older shit, we, we was able to get Goldie Roger. Yeah. Whitebeard. Goldie Roger getting to the fucking um, laugh tail and yeah. shit like that. And all, like, that right there, and then him getting killed. Him dancing around the fucking village. My for geez. fucking how many days, five, six days and shit like that, just to come and find out he was doing that to save his oh, people, like Wano? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's fucking beautiful, and, bro. And here's the thing. Yes, Wano was really, really long. Don't get me wrong, but I feel like there wasn't a moment in Naru- in I was at almost a Naruto Disrespect! in Wano that was not One Piece. Yeah, shut up. <laughs> um, <laughs> not uh, One Piece. <laughs> I don't think that there was a moment within Wano that was unnecessary. I feel like every moment. Mm. I feel like. I feel like, well, let me not say not every moment, but I feel like the majority of moments within Wano were very, very necessary and made sense to the story and were extremely, extremely lit. We got a lot of backstory on characters that we hadn't got backstory on. We got more backstory on Goldie Roger with some backstory on 
white beard. We got backstory on Odin. Like there was so many things that you could put together in Wano, and it also made sense because it just showed you how strong of a character yeah. Kaido is, wow, facts. and how like because usually in animes, with most animes, when we get introduced to a really really strong character, like the turnaround on when we beat them is long, but it's not really that long, mm -hmm. right? With this one, it's like all right, if we're gonna make this longer, it's just highlighting that this dude is almost is almost damn near unstoppable, Facts. right? So yeah. we have to figure out how we're going to stop him, and we have to, like, fight until we die in order to even to, – to beat him in some cases, to even put a dent in him, yeah. you know? So, like, it, I think it made sense. No yeah. bullshit, yo. I think Wano had, like, the illest, like, secret identities or character reveals ever, bro. Yeah. Like, the fact that fucking um, Denjiro – at first, he's Kiro Shiro. It seems like he's an op. It seems like he kills fucking um, Toki and shit like that. Come to find out this nigga was an Akazai 9 and got so mad that his fucking eyes got pushed back. Mm -hmm. That's fucking yeah. crazy. <laughs> Kanjuro. This nigga over here was with us. Fucking right? Oppie. Oppie Avna. This nigga was the fucking... He was with us the whole time since Dress the Roaster, my nigga. Come yeah. to find out he's the biggest op. Like, that shit was crazy. Even so, Momonosuke, bro. How the nigga was fucking, uh, the, how he's a kid, but he's a grown, like, yeah, Momonosuke's whole story was crazy, bro. I, bro, I his Luffy's part. devil fruit. We thought it was the gum gum fruit. That shit was the Nika fruit. Yeah. Like, yeah. what? Yeah. Nika fruit. Yeah, bro. Real shit. That was like, a crazy Nika fruit. Nigga, crazy even, the, Nika even, fruit. The, even the emotion they brought for, like, back characters, like, Yasu and shit. Oh, like, you know man, what I'm nah, saying? That's, like, that's right bro, there, like, I feel like. They did so much for even, like, the side characters in Wano. Like, it was super ill. And like I said, though, but if we had to wait four years, yeah. niggas would be like, all right, man. But even that making us yeah, hate yeah. Orochi the way that we did. Like, his you backstory, I, I hated it. Orochi what about Odin, Orochi's terrible, What bro. about Oda and Momoshiki, the father, Who? son? Momonosuke? Momonosuke. Oh. Momonosuke, 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 Momonosuke is, is from, from Baruto. Baruto. From Baruto. 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 Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Momonosuke. Yeah. So how we feel about Odin and Momonosuke relationship? The the son being um trapped in a time, what was it? Uh, that he he, he got sent forward in time by yeah, Toki. Yeah. yeah, and to come back to see that his family's been murdered, and then that he needs to get revenge, and him going to get Luffy's help from Punk Hazard all the way to this build up. Do we feel like um Momon Momoshiki? Momonosuke. Momo Momonosuke. Let's say Momo. Momo. Say Momo. Say Momo. Yeah. Just Momo. Momo. <laughs> Momo. <laughs> Is Avatar. compared to other younger characters. I feel like in One Piece, this was like our first kid. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was like our first kid, like type character. Nah, Boji compared is to like Boji, like a kid. He said one. And Chopper, and Chopper, Chopper. Yeah, Chopper's, Chopper's a young. Chopper. Chopper's oh, only, he, is? he got introduced. He's like twelve, 12 years old. Shit, yeah. Oh, I didn't I know Chopper that. was like. But six. I mean, human little though, like okay. a gone, yeah. like uh, like these little characters. Yeah, so yeah. Mo having a One Piece type of a younger character. I personally feel like I like Momonosuke. I just, I mean, you got it. Momonosuke. I just feel like he was really, um, he was very whiny. I could say so, it makes sense though. And he was a lot of the grabbing on the titties and stuff, like seeing Sinbad and seeing all these other younger characters. I like, uh, I like Momonosuke, but he ranks low to me in um, younger, younger I characters. Agree. I feel like he could have been a little bit more serious. Maybe not more like. I don't know how to explain it. it. Just made even when he turned into a dragon when he went. He, he got was a that, puny dragon for Matt fucking. No, but I think I that think was it makes the worst sense, part though. of his character when he was I, a dragon. I think me, I bro. think it makes sense though, just because like in a lot of I feel like in a lot of young animes, in a lot of animes, when we see younger characters, they're forced to grow up really really quick, and we see it like at a rapid pace. You know, I think that him being an eight year old child as being is was still reflected of him being an eight year old child. Even when he turned into an adult, it's like he still had those he still was didn't have that mature mindset on how to handle things. So he was gonna be extremely whiny. Especially when he had seen all that that terror. It was gonna it took a it took a while and it was annoying after a while, don't get me wrong. But like it does make sense because he was that young character who had went through all these things and seen all these things and he didn't know how to immediately like get that courage to be like, all right, I'm gonna do this. So of course it was gonna take time for him to build that up. I'm not gonna lie. But it was annoying as shit though. Don't yeah, don't get me I'll wrong. Be it was annoying you, as shit though. For a nigga that was on board, white beard ship and all that shit. Momo's a bitch, nigga. Like, you gotta think about all of the niggas and yo, Boji. 
Bonji got it worse than Momo, my nigga. And Bonji was... Kill that bitch. Yo, <laughs> kill that they nigga. tried to kill that nigga the whole time, bro. <laughs> Bonji was way more of a real nigga than him. And he's, I, feel, I think Bonji's younger than this nigga, Momo, bro. Momo, as a fucking dragon, was probably one of the worst parts of Wano. Fact. In like this, carry Oginashima, carry Oginashima, yeah. carry the shit. I can't, ah, ah, like, ah, I can't, nigga. Boy, it was cost, <laughs> nigga was constipated for fucking 10 up, ah, episodes. Ah, I can't, nigga. That's crazy, nigga. <laughs> but like, think about me, it. Here's, me, the, me thing. Four episodes Here's the difference between ah, him and very and a lot of younger <laughs> characters. Words, the younger characters that we've seen, right? We've seen Don, Kalua, even Goten Trunks, like younger characters that we've seen, even Boji. Younger characters that we've seen in anime have, uh, they have an extensive amount of training to an extent. Momonosuke Momo didn't really have that much training. That's why he was very immature in the way that he was doing things in his fighting styles, in his ability to be able to do things and to control his dragon and control his powers, which is why it made sense to why he was acting like that. We never that. asked this nigga to fight. Yeah. Like, yo, would you agree? Would now you agree, did, well, I mean, would you we agree that how long we've seen this character? He was like, you thought he would have a bigger moment, like a bigger, like, I, he comes into his own, like, that's my dad. Like, you didn't think that it would be much more, it would be a much better moment for him. I think it would have been a much, I do agree, I think it would have been a much better moment. Because don't get me wrong, do I think that that Momonosuke shit was annoying as hell and that dragon shit was annoying as hell? Absolutely. But all I'm saying is, is that because he didn't have, he didn't have that training. That's like, he really fault. didn't. Nigga, he didn't if have I'm that training, bro. With like, Zoro for that long? Nigga, train me. This thing is like this at the top of the ship. Nah, he's holding on to boobs. Like this? Yeah, yeah, like, yeah you're yeah. fucking so much on titties than you being a fucking leader, nigga. Bro, <laughs> nigga, like, do Your dad would nigga. be so upset with yeah, you. Yeah, nigga, what the fuck? Like, it's kind of like titties it's in your face like, you not, It's, it's kind of like you never played basketball a day in your life. You never practicing, and then you... They just throw you in a varsity basketball game. They did it. <laughs> like, no, nah, they did. <laughs> <laughs> nigga, they threw him as a fucking yeah, assistant. But, but you've been, ch- but you've been chilling with NBA players for the last few months, though. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Didn't, you know what I'm saying? That is on him, LeBron. That's how it works. But they put him in the field. But they did throw him. But they did throw him in a varsity. Yo, that Wano moment. Him trying to move the island is a varsity game for him, bro. Like that's a big moment. He didn't put it like this. They threw him in a varsity game, and then they say, "Yo, you have to take a shot." This nigga the whole time was trying to drag a fucking island. You're a dragon, nigga. That's him that's, taking it. That's him taking a shot. He doesn't fight know how to control his double person. Food, bro. So that training shit is null and void because not one moment did we ask Momo to fight. You know what's funny? You know who put it? But no, it, no, it's not no, null and void, no, Pat. You're tripping. You want me to tell you why? Because, fought, bro. because, like, yo, he Pat. Never fought. Because here's How the thing. How does that have to do with anything? Because, yo, because, Pat, him moving the island has to do with his devil fruit. In order for him to master his devil fruit and to be able to master that ability, he would have to have some sort of training. Yes, they threw him in the middle of the field. Of course, it was going to be hard for him to move that island because he had had practice using those clouds to but that extent. He was being a bitch about it. That's my point, bro. My nigga. It That's doesn't matter, but he was you in the middle of the field. That. He was being a bitch, but he was still in the middle so of the what field. Are you me about? My saying, my my, my point is, because Pat, you just try to say that the training was null and void. He obviously had to have some sort of training to be able to move that island oh, instantly. Of course, it turned a hard fighting. time. No one asked this thing to fight. He never had a fight. It doesn't matter if he did. Pat. You just said his training was. You just said yes, training was no, null yes, and void. His training, but you still have to train. It does. It well, I'm not talking about swordsman. In the in the moment, his training was null and void. What he had to do. What he had to do was he had to move the island. To some extent, to master your devil fruit, you have to have some sort of training. We saw that with Luffy. When Luffy first got his devil fruit, right, and he was using it, when he was a kid, he wasn't able to master it. In order to use doing? those clouds, he, he was training. You're right. He didn't train. You're right. right. But my thing is, so like, my he was still, this okay. Nigga, but, yo, 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 Pat, had but Pat, mad Pat, idle time but Pat, they he still, was doing jack shit. Why is a little girl, they still threw little him in the, girl oh that was God. doing the fucking Otama? cheek shit? Otama, Otama, yeah. Otama put in more work. Then fucking this nigga Momo. But Pat, they still put She's him in the yo. Him, they still nigga. put him in the varsity game what? with no training. He needed the train to use those too. clouds. He if it wasn't for all time, the devil fruit training we in order to use those clouds. He converted and you know what's more crazy? More than a thousand beast fires to our side, my nigga. And you know what's crazy? For somebody who had no training. For somebody who had no training, even though he was bitching, for somebody who had no training with his devil fruit, he actually did good because he ends up moving you know the why? island. You know why? Like it you took him a why? while. It you took him a why? while, but he did you it. You know though. why? Do you he know did why? It, though. In the middle Tell of the him. Why? Tell him why. Yo, put it like this. If he was by himself, 
nigga, that island would have crashed in the fucking ocean. Yeah. The only reason why that shit happened is because Yamato, Yamato. had to be in his ear. Like, listen here, bitch. Do that <laughs> shit. <laughs> That's why. Yes, nigga. because he had no training. All right, you got to come because back, Jerry. Because he had no Yo, training, of course, he needed somebody <laughs> to be in his <laughs> ear. Yo, if I go into a field, you're that, right, nigga? Pat. I'm not saying that it's not his fault, but if I go I into a basketball game and I'm not nigga. making a shot, right? What? I'm not making Yo, a shot because I had no training. Of course, I would need somebody to be in my ear like, Yo, stop being a bitch. Shoot the ball. Make a shot. Obviously, the dude didn't have the training with the devil. And it's his fault. It is his fault. But at the end of the day, my dude, my point point is that that they threw him in a varsity game without him having experience playing varsity. So the training part is not null and void. That is my point. This nigga. This nigga's talking about sword fighting. Yo, my nigga. (laughs) He could have asked for training. You're You're right. You're right. You're right. He was dedicated like Odin. So that's why it's not varsity because it's Imagine they say, yo, you're going to play varsity, but you could practice. This with one of the great is <laughs> basketball player. Well, Zoro's not one of the great, but a, 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 a basketball player that could teach you how to play. You gonna go over there and you're gonna go play and practice. If you don't, they didn't just throw you in the varsity. They didn't. You had time and preparation. You're right. But you was worried about bitches. You was worried about <laughs> Nami's titties. You was worried about Robin's titties with your ball head spot, bro. <laughs> Momonosuke. I liked Momonosuke, but at the end, even when he turned into a dope. He was still a sucker, bro. Facts, he was like, he was still he, because like, he was he was immature he, though. He just he got turned into an adult. He one of the city. biggest worst moments in all Wano. He's the reason why Yamamoto couldn't leave and join the crew. Yamato, yeah, yeah. Yama, yeah. yeah, Yamato. Yeah, Yamato. Exactly right. He's the reason why because exactly. his little ass couldn't be his grown ass. That still little ass kid couldn't be grown enough to take care of Wano on his own. She knew if she left, that shit would have went to a shithole in less than a week. The military would have came in and whooped their ass. Greenbow would have came through, Facts. took over the fucking land, Facts. and do his thing. Yo, but here's the, the thing. Here's the thing to that though. Nigga, run Wano, little bitch. Here's the thing to that. So here's the thing to that though too. I do agree. You guys, you guys are right. He should have been traded, but at the same time, also the kid. He was eight years old. Old and then he instantly got turned into an adult. His mentality is not going to change that in in that incident of a moment, right? You're still going to have that child mentality, kind of like in reverse. This is a reverse version of it. Even though I don't like Dragon Ball GT, kind of like Dragon Ball GT, when Goku gets turned into a kid, he still thinks like an adult, but he's a kid now. You know what I'm saying? Like his mindset didn't change. Nah, this is Goku, a, this but, is the reverse nah, version. Nah, Goku of that. is yeah. a, just a bad example because even when he's an adult, he acts like a kid. Mm-hmm. Mm. Goku's mindset is very yeah. kiddish. So that's why I feel like they always are like, yo, we can always put Goku back to a kid because he already acts like a kid. Yep. But if you made Vegeta a kid, I mean, Dragon Ball Daima might prove me wrong. But <laughs> until <laughs> then, Daima. until Daima. then, Vegeta as a kid. And that's why I feel like even the Punk Hazard kids I like more than Momonosuke. The one that was like the giant type ones? shits? Yeah. Yeah, like that <laughs> was not nice kids. Like, he was lying. Momonosuke was eight and, and was instantly turned into an adult. And, an and, adult. and his family, his whole family got killed. Then he got teleported to the future. Yeah. Yeah, he couldn't, he couldn't recoup. When, he couldn't even process all that, bro. He's a hurt little kid, man. Yeah, we, we, like, we, yo, you should be glad that he did. He, he did whatever he did in Wano. Seriously, like, we <laughs> like, should be glad he did. Seriously, that, bro. real nigga, shit. He didn't all the that. shit that he went Everybody through. Everybody forced him to do that, my nigga. That's what I'm trying to say. This nigga had no backbone. I don't get. To me, it's like, bro. I, it's like if Bronny James wasn't Bronny James, bro. Like you have LeBron as your idol. And then you you're not you don't you're not even yeah. good at ball like nigga like I feel like this this nigga Momo has the most elite samurai as his father. Not only that, this nigga went around the world with his father with the <laughs> most elite pirate in history. How you still? Bro, a bitch, nah, nigga? I'm not gonna lie, I'm not gonna front. <laughs> the only <laughs> problem, the only problem I see with that logic is like, yo, think about what they did to your people. If you was at least shooting in the gym every day and you was trying your ass off yeah. and you just couldn't figure it out, cool. Cool. My nigga, they sent you to the future. They fucking smoked your daddy. They got half your niggas fucked up. They been taking smile fruits for 56 fucking years. Yeah. And you came to fuck back and suck the teddy? Well, god damn it. Yeah. <laughs> like, I don't know how much more motivation like, you need. Yeah, like, I bro, don't know. if I, don't I came know, back, I'm on some demon shit. Like, bro, my people's been getting violated. I feel like he was just but like, because I am not. Y'all, y'all a little stronger than me. But here's y'all figure that shit out. You I'm, got it. Luke, 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 the motivation is the motivation is different. Like when it's it's even harder when you're in the field when it's cut time, especially when you don't have that training. It's definitely gonna be especially more difficult. Backbone. It's definitely gonna be it's definitely gonna be harder to maneuver, especially when you still have that eight year old mentality, right? And you don't have the experience of your devil fruit. Keep in mind, he got that devil fruit while he was at where where, where, where were they at Punk Hazard? Uh, yes, yeah, Punk Hazard. Hazard he got yeah. it from there. Yeah, he got he got that devil fruit while he was at Punk Hazard, right? So I don't know what the time I don't know the time frame between Punk Hazard and Wano. It's six. And a, it's three and a half months. 
I'm just talking. Uh, yeah, like I don't know that. I don't, I don't know that time frame. I don't know that time frame either. But like, you have to even think too. Like, he just, he got turned into an adult instantly, so he doesn't even know how to control his dragon form as he's an adult because this is a bigger version of his dragon form. Like you know what thousand. I'm saying? I'm and he had a very and he had no spin. And realistically, in that moment, because I was in the middle of Wano when they were fighting, in that moment, he really had no span of time to be able to control or learn anything within that ability. So. You know, we're, we're, now that we're talking about some things that we don't like about Wano, you know, Momonosuke being one of them, uh, we have I have another clip here from JD Legend. Apparently, he has a lot of, that he doesn't like about oh, Wano. Know. <laughs> so, so this, let's. This it's a quick, a little it. short. This already got me agreeing with him. <laughs> I am glad Wano's over. Oh my god! I am so glad we're done with this arc. Oh my god! Torment and pain. <laughs> no, you tell them Wano had great highs. You know what's a bad relationship? When you're with a girl and when she's happy, she's amazing. And when it's bad, it's really bad. Does it sound like a good relationship to you? Does it sound like you're happy? No, because it's not consistent. So don't tell me about Joy Boy and Wano and, and Gear 5. Don't tell me about any of that nonsense. I suffered. <laughs> and then you get a of hope. Oh my God, Ephraim Jarbe. Oh my God, Joy Boy. Oh my God, Gear Fifth, Gona, Gold, everything. Just to be subjected to the nonsense of Yamato, the nonsense of Orochi. No. Oh my God, the Red Scabbards. Oh my God, please. Lord, we didn't even get Kenny Mon and Saru together. Yeah, it's funny. I, they probably got together off screen, but. Bro. Um, there's a lot of things I did not enjoy with this arc right here. You know what, what part of this arc that I really didn't need? All these bitch-ass niggas coming back. Who? <laughs> oh, Bro, okay. one, Kinemon not dead. I don't know how. Uh, fucking Orochi, Orochi go back and forth. Kiku back and forth. Yeah, yeah. Uh, was it Kinemon at uh what was the uh Conjuro? Conjuro. Was he dead at one point he too? He died and he didn't really get killed because Kiku wasn't able to actually kill him because yeah, she's like, a fuck. pussy. And then he comes back and she still even gets nervous. She... She thinks that Odin is in front of her when she's a grown ass woman. Like I don't get how you delusional as a grown woman to think that Odin is back. And that's just the de- that's the thing that pissed me off the most about this arc with them people. Like yo, Kinemon, if you would have died in that moment, you know how great that would have been. No, that would have been, been like. And it's not like I hate his character. It's just like that was the that's way. Powerful. That's the fucking way you that's go powerful. out, my G. And it just it man, just, there was a shout out to the seven hundred people we got in here. Make sure yeah, you yeah. like it up, like it up right now. Make sure you check out our Patreon. Like I said, we got a lot of dope stuff going on right now. We got a lot of new news coming, Fact. too. Facto. We got some new stuff. Right now, we got our movie chain, RGTV Reacts, with over 100 plus movies right oh, there. We stupid. just dropped Interstellar, Silent Voices, Anime Fans. We got it on there and your name as well. Facts. And guys, make sure you go to our Discord. We're going to put the link um, link in the, the chat. And let you guys know, know when to call in. You guys get to call in at the end of this show and give you us our opinion on Wano, what you think. And right now in the poll, uh, it's 40% a Shibuya arc. It's so close. 4, 39% Marine Ford. 12% return to Shiganami AOT and Soul Society. Dang, I don't want AOT. I want AOT. I want Yo, right, update, update. I don't think your name is on yet. The silent voice. Oh, my fault. Yeah. 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 So I just your name's sure. coming. The, we got your name coming. We got Deadpool coming. Logan, um, Logan coming. We got <laughs> Invincibles coming. Paul. We got Avatar coming. So we got a lot on our Patreon, mm-hmm. and we got more coming. Fact. Nonstop content. We got Dead Death Note. We got Hunter Hunter. Yep. We got my hero going crazy right now. Yep. We got so much with new people, and in the OG team, we got Glory. We yep. got Woo! Magi. Yep. We got freaking um Reacher. Reacher. We got uh uh. Uh, fairy tale. We got free ring, yep. and we got so we got Mashal, We got unluck undead, and so much more. So make sure you keep it locked. And like I said, vote to, for the next episode next week, February twenty eighth. We need everyone here. We had seven hundred this week. We need to get to a thousand next week. Facts. So we need everybody here to pull Facto. up and let us know your opinion. It looks like it's either gonna be Shibuya Arc or Marine Force. So go hard in the votes right now. Go hard. We had 687. Let's get to 1,000 votes. And yo, go. get back. Yo, quick yo, quick thing. Say, just want to look. Go ahead. I, nah, I was just going to make a random comment towards how Robbie presented that. He sounded like a radio DJ, like the hand motions and everything. Like, like, yo, it's your boy Rob yeah. City. He's him. <laughs> He's him. He's hot 97. Bro, one of the, uh, this year is probably the year that like some shows really surprised me the most. I won't lie. Like, yo, the amount I really love that show, Glory. If y'all haven't watched us with it, watch that with us yet, goddamn, you got to go watch them reactions. And Mizupor, I... 
if you hadn't watched it before and you never thought about watching it and you just trust me, go watch that show. Yeah, that show. These shows them shits good. like yeah. them. Yo. That yep. shit surprised me. Well, glory glory will change your life. Yeah, like glory, <laughs> Glory's the one I'd be at home like. Yeah. <laughs> Can I glory watch will, one? <laughs> Glory's one of them shows that gets you Yo, so this shit mad. Got me hooked, son. And guys, yeah, so I, I love Fairy Tale too. Yeah, oh, Has Been Hotel, oh, Hotel and Has Been Hotel. Has Been Hotel is so in depth and it's just so great and it's just emotionally pleasing. Yeah, shout, shout out to the Grand Magic Games, yo. Grand Magic Games. Yeah. And, and we also have an exclusive, uh. Patreon only podcast coming soon where we eat some of your favorite food and answer your Facts. questions. And we have a lot of Patreon exclusive shows like uh Unluck Undead. Is Ted Lasso. Ted Lasso. Uh, uh, Death Show. Note. Death Note. Masso. Uh-huh. So only on Patreon you could get these five shows. So shout out to everybody that's uh, been supporting us. We appreciate it. And I do not appreciate the food I had during our first live eating podcast. Yeah, let, them find, <laughs> let them find out. Nah, that's because you ordered the wrong thing. I won't speak about who it is, but nah, that's because you ordered the wrong. I put thing. a bad Yelp review. Fuck them. Yeah. But <laughs> I put a bad. I put a bad Yelp review on Olim. Cool. I, I didn't. Oh, I didn't. Okay. I, I could have oh. done without that. I could have done without Big Mom losing her memory and having that whole that whole plot. I actually didn't enjoy that at all. Like I didn't fuck with her losing her memory. I didn't enjoy her going to the fucking prison. The whole bean soup <laughs> shit. I feel like. That was one of those things that make me undermine Big Mom's character. I feel like they they parodied her character, and it makes me like they're not doing that to Kaido. Put it like that. They'll never do that to Kaido. They're never doing that to Shanks. They're never doing that to Meanhawk. They're doing that to her, and that makes me be, kind of belittle her character and doesn't make me take her as serious. But here's the thing. For right. me. So first and foremost, to, to that point, I think that there were a bunch of moments where they made Big Mom seem really, really goofy and funny and make you be like, what the hell, right? Like, for example, um, when she had, the first time she had her hunger pangs and she was going on that rant, and she's like, where's my crumble? I forgot what it was that she wanted to eat at that moment. But, like, that was a goofy, that was kind of a goofy <laughs> moment for Big Mom. We saw, we saw that a lot of that in Whole Cake. But to um, the video that we just saw, here's the thing. I think that the great moments in Wano outweigh the bad moments in Wano. I think there's way more great things that happened. There's great there's way more like emotional things that happened with in the arc, which is why I can't I can't agree with dude that the things were really, really bad. It was like maybe they could have done this a little bit better. Like for example, you caught you talked about um Kenny Mon's death. Mm-hmm. I think that they could have did that a little bit better. You know what I'm saying? I actually don't but, think they could have did it better. The only thing no, better but, was no, just no yeah, just making him dead. Just leaving him dead. But that's how they could have yeah, been yeah, that's yeah. how they could have did yep, it better. Just yep. making sure that he was dead. But yeah. like I think that the the moments we we got first of all we got gear five yes gear five was great it was iconic because like i've said a million times because of the animation style the way that they did it they did it the fights in wano were absolutely elite even amongst some of the smaller characters like who's who versus jimbei that was fire um robin versus black maria was fire zoro versus king (coughs) sanji versus queen like all of these fights make up for those bad moments that were in wano to my opinion you know what i'm saying the only moment in wano that i thought was absolutely absolutely terrible was yamato not joining the straw hat pirates that build up was that was kind of crazy y'all y'all built this up to break this down for why like why why did you guys do that because you're an eight-year-old boy (laughs) the boy you was defending because you're an eight-year-old boy you know the answer. You know the answer. He has a whole bunch of people. Listen. So uh, it's funny that we're talking about this now because uh, my boy Rogers Base, shout out to Rogers Base. Shout out to he uh he ranked all the arcs in One Piece, right? And then when he gets to Wano, he kind of talks about the ups and downs, mm-hmm. and then he kind of places it, you know, he ranks them amongst the, amongst all the other arcs. And I, I'm interested, you know, now that we have kind of talked about the the good things, the great things, the amazing things, the bad things, where will we place it amongst the others, and will we agree with some of his takes? So. I wanted to play a, cl- a clip from him here. Wait two week, even though it was so, you know, honestly, I'm gonna put it even below. I'm gonna put it below post war Skype. I'm also gonna put post war down here below. Let me see. And I'm gonna put leaves. Said and would be three things that stick out to pack as plus one because okay. of your moments. But Wano, there are three things that stick out to me because of what happens at the end of Wano. Because of so many of the moments, even in Act 1 and Act 2 with Yasui, so good. I'm going to tell you why it's not going to be S plus for me. The Ice Oni stuff went on a little too long with Chopper. But I would have forgiven that had we not had big 
mom's amnesia. It was the only moment in the history of me covering One Piece that I dropped One Piece and I didn't cover it. And yo, Jerry, that's crazy that you say that. I'm like, yo, because he literally said the same thing, right? Like, he was just like, yo, Big Mom's amnesia was fucking ridiculous. Was terrible. Terrible. No, I think, no, I do. No, I'm not. I never said that it was good. Oh, I'm yeah, you said it was bad. You yeah, said it was no, terrible. I said, that. I said no, it was Oh, I thought you said it was bad. Oh, no, so, oh yeah, you're right, you're right, you're right. That, no, like, I said, already, like, I said like, that yeah, there was yeah, already, I said that was already goofy things. I said that there was already goofy things to in to pretty much say that Big Mama was she. Even though she was mad strong, she was also oh, a goofy so you character. Defended the point you defended it. Yeah. Ah, so okay. I'm Word saying shit, like, no art, nigga. yeah. So <laughs> I'm saying that was it was it necessary? No, like the amnesia was absolutely unnecessary to the art. You know what I'm saying? But I think it made sense to how goofy Big Mama's character. And I think there's another point he makes here that. And I also, Roger it. hates Big Mama with a passion. That's true, too. <laughs> so, I mean. <laughs> that plot line did not need to happen. She did not need to get the amnesia to link to the stuff in the prison. Kiremon and the other samurai, and what could have been with them when you get to Roof Peace and you get to Luffy seeing them on the ground after their sacrifice, after what they've been through in that incredible Odin flashback. And you get that amazing moment of them fighting Kaido. Only for all of them to live except for Izo and Ashura Doji? Bruh. There are so many things <laughs> that could have made Wano a <laughs> Wano could have been here. It could have been here, honestly. Nice. If Oda actually would have made Yamato a straw hat. There are so many things that they did with Yamato as a character in Wano Country that would have made sense and that I would have loved. Knowing that Yamato does not become a straw hat, there is so much wasted, unforgivable time with Yamato. There is literally no reason for that character's existence in Wano Country. But how the story would have been with Yamato and the whole thing that shit. Weird merchandising things that with Yamato, complete and utter BS. So for me, that again, dropped it down. Dropped it down again. Full marker, just because of Big Mom and Ninja, just because of Yamato, right? Mark it down. Then, I think a lot of the fights <laughs> then in, in Onigashima in particular are super hype, right? I think Luffy versus Kaido is great. Gear 5, incredible power up, will surely go on to be iconic 30 years from now. Notice how I said that. I know Twitter people. <laughs> Twitter people can't get, get on me with that. Gear 5 is my favorite power-up for Luffy in the entire series. Okay. Period. Bar none, it is my favorite power-up. It is better than Gear 2, better than Gear 3, better than Gear 4. The design is awesome. I love the thought behind it. I love it being a ridiculous power. I love the revelation that the gum gum fruit is not actually the gum gum fruit, that actually he's the owner of a mythical zone that was the Nika fruit. So Wano is going below Skypea. It's going below our law. Oh my it's god! Below, it's going below Drum Island. It's going below post war. And it's going below. And you were just agreeing with it. For me. You were just agreeing with it. You were just agreeing with it. Take that oh, back. Take it back. Take it back. Take it back. No, take it back. Take it back. We we he still hit on the points that I, I agree with. All those points mm. I do agree with. But here's the thing. But god damn. My guy, you want me to tell you why? P under dr oh, nah. Isn't the drum You want me to tell you why? That's why y'all bugging. Even I when y'all said Wano Juan, was better than y'all like 85% of every other One Piece arc. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the yeah, fact yeah, that they yeah. put, he put it, where he put it, that's disrespect. Robbie, you know why? <laughs> you know why he did that? Because, okay, because one of the things that he put a big emphasis on was Big Bob. If it was up to Roger, Big Bob wouldn't be in One Piece at all. <laughs> like, Big nah. Bob wouldn't be, he thinks that Big Bob is a terribly written character that should not exist in the world of One Piece. I do agree and with that. And that's why he's taking nah, it putting and putting it, it down a couple notches, which is why I'm like, you know what, Roger? Nah, miss me with all that. Putting Wano under Drum out. Island is sick, sick business. That's crazy. That's sick, sick business. Drum that Island. Put, no, put Wano under anything the before, than Marine Ford. before Marine Ford is crazy to me. But I could like, like I feel like crazy. some of them I can see arguments, but that, like bro, no. I think he put Zoe above it too. Like I don't know, he bro. put he put your boy above it too, Jerry Jessarosa. I love Jess bro. I, I like Jess Rosa. I can jack if a Jessa person Rosa's said that like Marine, but Ford, it's still not it's not better than Jessarosa. Marine for Sabaldi. Oh uh, fucking! Or even even if um they said that Dressalrosa was better. He got than Water Wano. Seven at number two. Yeah, you could argue but, those. But damn, drum fucking island and Sky yeah, yeah, P. Yeah. Now nah, you violated. You just violated. Sky me. P. 
that's so like yo, Raj, you my guy, bro. You my guy, but I don't know, bro. I might need an arm wrestle. Roger, so just got, because, I might need an arm wrestle. And all because he's a fair one, yes. bro. And if <laughs> I win the arm wrestle, <laughs> we move him on to all the other points. <laughs> all the other points were cool, but he's just saying that because I feel like if that big mama amnesia didn't happen. <laughs> <laughs> that he wouldn't, he wouldn't put it. Well, he said long. about the Yamato thing because we the, spent the a lot of time with Yamato bad, and no, stuff. I agree. So yeah, no, I, I, I agreed with that too. The Yamato thing was bad. That was the thing that I hated the most in Wano. The, the fact that they built this up to break us down and she didn't join the Shore Hat Pirates. That was crazy. But I don't know, man. To say it's under Drum Island is wild. He's on top of his game, bro. <laughs> wild. <laughs> That's crazy, That's crazy, That's crazy bro. So bro. these are the these are the arcs he has over. All of them, right? Yeah, so he has me. Marine Ford, Water Seven, Eni's Lobby, Impel Down, Sabodi, Zoe, Skypea, Arlong, Reverie, Drum yeah. Island. Might as well throw Thilla Bark. <laughs> no bullshit. Like, no, but no bull. <laughs> Basically, that's just the worst like, arc in One Piece, like, according to doing? Roger. Yo. What are we doing, man? That nigga said, oh that God. nigga said Water Seven and Eni's Lobby. That nigga said One Piece got trash after it got to Wano. That's what, what? he said. That's pretty much what he said. That's pretty much what he said. Yo, I jack, <laughs> I, I jack, uh, and he's lobby. Don't get me wrong. I can see these argue, the arguments for like, obviously Marine Force, yeah, Marine yeah, Force, exactly. Enies lobby, also. and it fell down. Yeah, yeah, I can I, see I arguments. Get it. And Sabodi, I, I, Wait, I you said Water it. Seven too. He got Water Seven. I like Water Seven, man. but no, no, but Water Seven compared to Wado. I nah. feel like Impel Down Do we get had anything? way more cool, dope, crazy moments. You have, you basically get the reinforcements of Blackbeard. You, like that's just cold. But water seven? Come on. I got Guy P? Come on. No, that's wild. That bro. might be the water worst art, bro. Crazy. Like for, I watched only anime. I didn't read the manga and stuff like that. But that sitting through that, if you guys go watch the, our reactions, that was torture. That shows low key ass. Yeah. Like Sky P doesn't get good until the last 20, 15 episodes, bro. Everything else is basura. Mierda. Like that shit's crazy. What's bro. the worst one piece arc? Thriller Bark. Thriller Bark. Bark. <laughs> <laughs> Thriller Bark. Um, nigga, I don't care. Drum Island is one of nah, the worst I won't front. Ones, I won't front. Drum Island. Water Seven's a fire arc. Water Seven, we got the we got the Usopp Luffy shit. We got the uh the oh Soge King, right? Y yeah. Yeah, we got Soge King. We got Robin. Robin yeah, shit yeah, with yeah. CP9. Like, nah, oh, that was the last arc. I didn't see that. That was the last arc. I can see. Put it this way. I can see. I can see it being near Wano. I can see you arguing. No, that. I get that. Even though Water Seven it's shorter. on That's his what, list, nah, I get it because it's shorter. Even though on Water Seven on his list, like dog walking Wano, but I'm just saying I could see it being same tier ish. Okay. Uh, that's still. Uh, oh yeah, Foxy Pirate Arc is ass too. Uh, that don't count. That's, that's, uh, that's not canon. I can't say that's a I can't say it's same fellow. tier ish. I mean, Dressarosa was amazing to me, bro. Water, um, Marine Ford was amazing to me. Wano like, had so much great plots like, in it, bro. Like what? Nah, it did, it did, it did. But <laughs> yeah, it did, it did. It's just when I looked at, I'm like, damn, we did get a lot of emotion in that arc too. Like that was the whole like, that's the only reason Robin's still here. Like, now Water Seven, Luffy, Luffy Chase had, had that, like that was shit was fire. Bro. No, I'm not. I, th that's the thing I can't take away from Water Seven. It didn't have good moments, but I still had everybody in the chat all hate me for this, but I still hate that going. Barry shit. I still hate that yeah, fuck with that, such yo. a passion. Go like, Mary, go and that's Mary, why you can eat a dick. That's why we got Thousand Sunny out here. Yeah, I purposely, why, shit. Why, I purposely like, didn't bring it up because I didn't want to hear y'all hate on my shit. And that, and that, that's, that's why, oh, like, for God, me, bro. I always say Water 7 is high just because of that <laughs> Go and Barry shit. But, like, everything else, uh, the shit with um, Soge King was entertaining. Um, the shit with Robin was dope. The moment where um, Luffy was like, Do you want to live, Robin? She was like, I want like that was impactful, you know. It was like it was, yeah. Y'all niggas cool. ain't no pirates. That's you. Why you don't understand the love between a boat and a man? Y'all don't fucking get it. You don't fucking be. Yo, you had mad Sperry's never been on a boat. Fuck out of mm -hmm. here. You understand? Shit. I have a car. Yeah, you understand? I have a car, yes, so I, I understand. I've been, how many cruises I've been on? I love them ships. What about Emily? <laughs> Thank you very much, <laughs> bitch. <laughs> Any, that, if them cruise ships go down, I'm crying, my nigga. And I've been on a boat. On Yo, vacation, Eddie's I've been lobby, on a boat. What are you talking about? And his lobby was dope, though. I can't front because you had. You had this nigga going down there, fucking, we get Jimbe recruitment. We get this nigga Magellan beating on Luffy, killing Luffy. He like, come on, Impel down, Impel down. What'd I say? You say Eni's Lobby. The fuck is Eni's Lobby, then? <laughs> Eni's Lobby is, like, the second part of, like, Water 7, right? Like, you tell me. I think so. That's the uh, part where they go. Wait, that's where he fought, he fought, um, uh, think, um. When they light up, uh, when they burn up the flag. Luchi? Yeah, yeah, where they fight Luchi and shit, when they burn I up the flag. I thought that's Water 7. I thought that's Water 7. Bro, if Eddie's Lobby and Water 7 is two separate things, 
then one of seven is not like that. <laughs> <laughs> real shit. Nah. Because you. Cause remember, <laughs> yo, Jerry. Remember the moment yeah. you was just talking about? Yeah, that's, yeah, that's, yeah, that's, yeah, that's, yeah, yeah. That's um, Eddie's lobby, bro. Yeah. That's not one of seven. But Eddie's one lobby. Seven is Eddie's lobby also has. Underwear. Yep. And Eddie's lobby is the one I brought up. Nah, like but Eddie's lobby is also yeah, Eddie's lobby is also the moment. There's also a go and marry moment in Eddie's lobby where the go and marry comes back and then back. breaks in the cool. middle of the ocean. That's cool. That's cool. <laughs> I hated it. I, don't know I that loved that. it. The go and marry was always one of my favorite arcs. The whole CP9 moments. shit is definitely water seven, bro. It leads nah, but they split them up because there's there's two different. So places. the end of it. So what? When does it? When did we? When do we transfer? Like, when we get to Eddie's lobby. Yeah, I thought it was one arc, man. Aha, Eddie's lobby. Yeah. Yeah, nigga, Eddie's lobby. Big, yeah, bro. yeah, Eddie's I lobby. Is I don't agree. Yeah, Eddie's lobby. All right, if Eddie's, if the, yeah, I agree with you. Yeah, if they're two separate arcs. Yeah, it, bro. Like, Thank you yeah. for bringing that up, Rob. Because <laughs> I was definitely putting Water Seven and Eddie's lobby in one arc and shit. But because it's subsequently, like it's subsequent, like it goes directly right after, leads right into it and shit like that. You get on the train and then we're fighting, we're fighting CP CP Nine on the train and shit like that. Then we get to Water uh, to um, Eddie's lobby. Nah, Eddie's lobby is shit on Water Seven, bro. I don't agree. It's okay though. Nah, what do you what do you not agree, agree about? Agree. So because most of the impactful moments, tell us what you like. Our boat, yo, y'all don't like boats. It's okay, Same. my well, nigga. What yo, my boy Usopp, the boat can talk to my man. The fight too, the fight between the Luffy fight, yeah, and the Usopp, fight. I think. Yeah, like that was that was when Usopp left. Luffy came back. Come on, bro. I'm a Usopp lover. That's why wait, I love that arc, bitch. Wait, um. You like dressing up? Any's lobby. Any's lobby is when we got. Any's lobby is when we got Gear Two and Gear Three, right? Yes. Yes. Yeah, yeah, you guys are tripping. Both, both <laughs> transformations. <laughs> y'all are tripping, bro. Bro, y'all are tripping. Think about both it. Techniques. That brought about Eddie's lobby. Brought about one of our greatest arguments in RTV. Which one is it, Pat? Which one is it? Which one whether is it? It's a, whether it's technique a technique was a transformation. What, yeah, a technique and a transformation. Come on, man. What? Like, even though the one thing I hated about what 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 techniques were uh gear what it was gear one it was gear, gear two, two and gear three yeah. and what what is seven. And what is that? And he's lobby. And he's lobby. Nah, y'all bugging, bro. It's not even yeah. close. Yeah, bro. like that was Eddie's lobby. The first new <laughs> like, level so Usa, so Usa versus uh, uh uh uh. We got Tom's backstory in Water Seven. What else? Luffy versus Usopp was in Water Seven. Yeah, yeah that was Water Seven. Usopp, the boat. We got introduced to Frankie. Uh, we got introduced to CP9. Um, before he got into the trash character where you hated him, this is when Kaku. you fucked with him. When you fucked with Kaku. Oh, yeah, Kaku was a part of Wolfpower yeah. alone. That was when Kaku was Wolfpower alone yes, before they gave him that bullshit ass shit in Eni's lobby. Because I'm pretty sure he changed the Eni's lobby, right? Yeah. But, yeah. The like, fight, but the, no, but the fight, the fight with, uh, uh, the, um, what's the dude's the captain of CP9? Luchi. Luchi versus Luffy is, is Eni's lobby. Yeah, that shit was yeah, cold. That was, that's, that's, that was back cold. in the other that's day. One of, that was one of the first epic fights to me that One Piece had. Yes. And I remember Water 7, the moment in Water Seven that probably got me the most heated aside from the going Mary was the shit with Robin when it was like yo I'm about to I we attempted to murder the mayor and we're gonna pin it on you guys and then everybody making an excuse for it I'm like no what the hell I be heated <laughs> what you attempted to kill somebody now you're putting it on me yeah I think it, I think it's uh, it's hard to rank too because I know a lot of these people like Roger like JD Legend and Brago they were reading like and watching or reading week, week to week you know what I'm saying so yeah. Shit probably dragged for them way longer than for us, you know yeah. what I'm saying? So I think now that we're all caught up, I think we get to experience One Piece a little differently than everybody. With this arc now? Yeah, with this one. Yeah. And it's a great arc to do I mean, with. I said Easter egg, <laughs> I guess. Man, I, it's just that, like, when you look at the things in its totality and shit like that, I think, like, it's people, like, they have this notion that one is better than the other because of the fact that it's shorter, it's more concise, but that you still have to, like, take in all the elements that was given within Wano. It's like the duration can't... It can't dilute the level of quality of the goodness that was in it. Because, like, Drum Island... You only gonna say Drum Island's good because it was concise, straight to Chopper's backstory and all that. It but Drum impactful. Island, the, the his backstory is kind of fire, though. It's sad, too. No, it is. With the doctor and stuff like that. And it was quick. That's that's my point though. We had a lot of sad, great moments within Wano, nigga. Like you, sweet, you, sweet art. Like his backstory alone and shit like that was beautiful. That was amazing. Odin's backstory, that itself I agree all is that. Yeah, better yeah, I agree than Drum that. Island. But then, like <laughs> you said, facts. like you said, there's bad parts in Wano that it has to dilute from the greatness of Wano. We have to take it as it's complete. You know what I'm saying? That's why. It's it's unfair. I get you what you're saying, but we have to. But do you take it. the 
in totality or something, do you usually take the peaks more than the, like the the, the valley? Like, yeah, take, it seems like we that's take what the average though. We take the average. Nah. And if a short, if you made, if you made the best album of all time, I that doesn't change that you're a great. I don't go back and say, well, that one time you gave me that bullshit. I go to your best work. It's like that's your you're the best. That, that's like that's the no, best. No, we're best. talking about an album. We talk about the whole album. Exactly. All right, yeah, so, yeah, yeah. So put it like this, right? If an album, right? If it has eight great songs out of how many songs 15 okay eight great songs it and can't I, be a classic eight out of i never 15 said is, that one was oh, a classic i'm talking about in terms of comparing it to other other albums and shit like that it's like i'm talking you don't think one was a classic me yeah i think it's a i think it's up there it's a great art. it's a great art it's enjoyable I, it's, it's a, very long it's very long so if it was if it was more concise it would be higher up but i do think that the the peaks of wano Compare with the peaks of everything else. Like that's what I would say. the The peaks of Wano, I could compare with every other peak of these arcs. Yeah, it's like yeah, it's much longer, so I guess it's gonna be more valleys. It's kind of like when we watch a longer show. It's just always going some parts you're not gonna fuck with, but the parts that I really fuck with, them shit, bro. Odin's yeah, backstory, like I said, Odin's backstory, it's top top three, no matter how you think of it. Backstory is yeah. yeah. Odin's MLP. backstory is like connect. If we're talking about, <laughs> if we're comparing, like, if, if, we're, classic shit. if we're talking about, like, uh, uh, One Piece as Drake albums and shit like that, to me, Wano, it's like, nothing was the same, my nigga. Damn. That's so, the best yeah. one. <laughs> yeah, I was about to say, one to me, that's, that's, that's the, the best, best one. Because it, it is one of the best ones. Because, nah, like, Wano, take guys, care. guys, guys, take guys, care guys. Like to, the, to, to this point, to this point, Wano. To this point, Wano is the best arc in One Piece. And to your point, you're absolutely right. It's like having an oversaturated album, and then you have some songs that you just don't rock with. You know what I'm saying? That's what it is with Wano. That's what I'm saying. Like these these great moments in Wano don't like they overpower the bad moments in Wano. <laughs> like I really don't think that you could take all these arcs, especially for somebody like me who thought One Piece was, and people gonna hate me for saying this, who thought One Piece was I up until Marine Four, right? Like, for somebody like me to see Wano, to see the change in animation, first of all, they made it look like an anime movie throughout the whole entire arc. Nah, shit was How Ill. many Come animes on, have we seen Ill, do bro. that? Wano was Ill. Ill. production on nothing was the long, same, my nigga. Especially for how long, nigga. especially for how long we've gotten One Piece and us having to go through the beginning of One Piece and see that animation and not like that animation style and see how far they've come throughout the creation of One Piece with Wano to sit here and take something and say Drummer Island is better than Wano is the wildest Yo, thing anybody in this, anybody world. in the world say a moment in Drum Island that's better uh, Drummer than Island. Gear 5 or fucking Odin's talk? backstory. Him climbing up the mountain yeah. and his fucking fingernails is fucking ripping off. Yeah. Let's talk and all of that. Let's talk, yeah, and it's no, not listen, even yo, recently. But sh shout out to everybody that's been rocking Fractal. with us, man. It's episode seven of the RGTV live stream podcast. Every other Wednesday, we do it twice a month, guys. Mm -hmm. Next month, Feb I mean, this month, February 28th, will be the next episode. And the winner of the arts coming in with 39% was Shibuya Art. Yes, sir. So we'll be discussing. Kat is excited. We'll be discussing and doing a deeper dive into the Shibuya arc. This podcast here is to get more deeper into these animes that we love, these TV shows that we love, and just break it down. You know, in our reactions, you guys love our conversations. So if you love it, this is where we ha you get two to three hours worth of us breaking down and really giving you our opinions, really understanding everything that's going down and breaking down our theories we're gonna have plenty of guests as you've seen before we had a lot of your favorites from uh rogers base your boy roshi the normies and so much more and a lot of dope creators we're gonna get to this podcast we take it serious our goal is to be one of the best podcasters in the live streaming world of anime so all the sponsors out there all the anime sponsors all oh. that stuff holla at us and we're gonna get into a one or two calls from our um uh, our subscribers, so make sure you go to our Discord and sign Thanks. up so you could be part of the conversation next uh, the February 20th. We will have the podcast with you guys calling in as well, so make sure you guys keep it locked. We're going to break down, like I said, we're going to break down so many arcs, so many conversations. Even some of our favorite animes like me, Joel, and um, Jerry love Digimon. We could get into conversations about what's the best the Digimon. Digimon arc. Well, the <coughs> Digimon... Um, we first. could do. We, I mean, we could do seasons. We yeah, could we do could like do the seasons. One, one through four. Like I said, even shows that we haven't watched on the channel, we're gonna get deeper dives. So make sure you guys stay tuned with this uh, podcast. We're taking it very serious. So 
thank you to the 765 65 people that showed up we peaked that Back next though. week let's get it to a thousand and each week get higher and higher we i mean february 28th like i said thank you guys so much for being here make sure you check us out on patreon right now we have full and early Do access that. for a lot of your favorite shows like solo leveling one piece fairy tale glory uh um, um we got logan we got uh interstellar we got mm-hmm. a lot of dope movies coming out as well we have has been hotel that's on there right now as well we have free ring that's on there we got magi that's on there and we have so much more dope shows peaky blind is my show up eventually guys there's yeah. so much more so make sure you go and sign up and also check out our cha- our movie channel where we react to movies your favorite movies right now we have interstellar up on there as well logan just dropped today logan just dropped on patreon so make sure you guys check all that out rgtv got so mm-hmm. much lined up for you this Fact. year we got so much channels so much content so much things to give out to you guys and like i said we appreciate you guys all being here and we're gonna get into that um the call all right guys so in uh, the description of this video you can see that there's a discord link Join the Discord link, and uh, we're going to have you guys jump in one of the channels on here. You're going to jump in. Let's see. And I will, I will read the, uh, the rest of these Super Chats before we get out of here, too. So shout out to everybody that have been giving them Super Chats. There's a live calls lobby on the podcast that you can jump in, and that we'll be pulling people from there. To get in, uh, to get in a call with one of us, so we just want you guys to explain your opinions on Wano, and then we want to know where you rank it. Like, give us like, just give us an idea where you would put it next to what two arcs, like the one above it and the one below it. That's you got it. Bop 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 bop. Wow, Roger got me heated. I know. Yeah. Nah, that really got me tense. <laughs> Roger the homie, <laughs> damn Roger. Like, dude said, drummer island. Drummer island, bro. Oh Forgot that was even arc and And tomorrow, to tomorrow we will be at the new rock stars a live event oh, yeah, in Los nice. Angeles. So make sure you go out there, show them some love, and we're gonna be in the building. So Feels make like sure you pull up on us. We're gonna be discussing Deadpool, Wolverine, and guys. You mean Deadpool three. Deadpool three. <laughs> you said it right. Deadpool and Wolverine. You Don't let him correct you. It's Deadpool and, 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 three, and guys. <laughs> The uh the Timothy that plays Wonka and Willy Wonka could definitely play a Fantastic Four, uh Steve Richardson. So Steve Richardson, Reed Richards, Reed, Reed Richards, Richards, Reed Richards, and um, do you guys agree with me or am I just capping? He's he's cap. Y'all think that the y'all think that the main character of Dune, also Willy Wonka, could be cast as Reed Richards? No. Human no. Torch. He'll, I think he'll do a good Human Torch. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. A Human Torch. Not Reed Richards. All right, so we got our first caller. <laughs> We're going to bring in um, Monkey D. Goku into the chat, man. Let us know where you're from, your name. Yeah, you can hear me? Yes, yes sir. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it was Gio from, I'm from Haiti. Haiti, hey, hey. how you saying? Yeah. Hey. Right. Yeah, and stuff. Been watching you guys for a while since watching the AOT and everything. Appreciate you, bro. Appreciate yeah. you, bro. Yo, Rob, talk to him. You can hear me, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah we, we can, can definitely hear you. hear you. We can definitely hear you. Yo, how you saying? All right, word. He can, I don't think he can hear me, though. Yeah, word, word. Robbie, oh, yeah, what was the question? Uh, well, Robbie, say it again. Can you hear Robbie? Hold on. Say it, Rob. Yo, yeah, you, yeah. Say, you say you're Haitian? Yeah, I don't think he can hear me. Yeah, I can't hear him. Okay, okay. He was trying to uh, speak. He was trying to relate to you and his, his Haitian brother. Creole. Yeah. Oh, he's trying to speak Creole. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you and Robbie suck up to Milan. You feel me? Bro, I gotta go. Bro, I said, wait a minute, Rob's coming over here. here. Rob's coming over here. Yeah. That was, that was one of those yeah. moments. Suck up to. Yeah, Milan, bro. Toujours here. Moi, bien. Où do où où sort Haiti? Yeah, I live in Virginia since 18. It's been like 19 years, but I'm in Virginia. Oh, you're going to be in Virginia, right? You're going to be in Virginia, right? 
Hey, yo, you my my Haitian brother. You 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 rock with anime. I'm happy to meet you, man. So make sure you follow me so we can connect, bro. Oh, for sure, I do follow you. Uh, if you look at Geo Seventeen S, I think I met D- you. DM, DM me right now, then, so we could we could chop it up. But yeah, shout out to my Haitian brother in Virginia, though. Yeah. Yeah. All right, bro. So tell us, uh, where does Wano land on your ranking? Uh, some things that you liked about Wano. Give us like the arc that you like above Wano and below it, so we have a good idea where you're ranking it. Where? Okay. So I got okay before the Wano manga was so before the recent one. Don't worry, I won't spoil anything. Okay. But before the recent one, I had Wano at number one for a lot of reasons. First of all, Odin's flashback. We saw Gold Roger in action. Keep in mind, we haven't seen this guy say or do anything before. We saw him in action, fight against Whitebeard, Prime Beard in action. We find out about the Rocks Pirates, find out the prophecies of Bay Uncles, um, and uh, what else? Gear 5, Zoro vs. King, Sanji, and all that. So for the first one, I love Haitians. I have it as number one. Um, I could keep going, but I, I don't want to make it too long. But um, hey, yeah, for me, I got it number one. I'd say, uh, what was the other question? Um, so now we know that you have a number one. What's the I, what's the second best? What comes after uh, Wano? That way we have an idea of what you like in the arc. You know, we uh, know. Yeah, so I want to say like it's number mm-hmm. one before that was before like the recent one just came out. Um, that was before Egghead. But yeah, I got it number I got it number one before before like. Egghead was a thing. That oh, wait, wait, wait. So, 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 so Egghead is your number one right now? Just, you could just say yes yeah, or no. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, I like. So, it's like, nah, like what's number one before that? But damn. Egghead was a thing. I got, I got one as number two. Oh, shit. And be, all right, so, before Wano, where, what was your number one then? Before Wano? Yep. Uh, Sabot. Okay. Oh, that's my and number one. I, I, I see you. I, I see one. you. All right. No, like, uh, all right. the painting was just amazing. Just like we got, basically, like that's when I took One Piece serious. Like it was one of my favorite. Like I liked it before, but I took it serious as Spoiler. I was like, oh no, nah. the world building. You find out how the world government works. Celestial dragons. You follow. Uh, you find out. You see an admiral in action yeah. besides Aokiji. Uh, there's that there was that dope moment in the whole thing when they shot Hachi and then you saw Luffy punch the Celestial Dragon. Yeah. And then you find out about Gold Roger a little bit and it's just like, yeah, <laughs> yeah, Sabote was just too lit. He sold me. Now, all right, yo, Monkey D. Luffy, appreciate your call, man. That was some great takes right now. Go. Um, you know, Sabote was my favorite and that's when I actually started taking One Piece uh serious too because obviously there's – a record of me hating on it along Facts. all the way there. <laughs> I know, I saw the video. <laughs> 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 all right, man. Well, I appreciate you calling in, brother. Have a good one. For sure, bro. Yo, no bullshit. He's my fifth favorite Haitian. <laughs> Swear to God. Yo, Patrick was saying here the whole time, like, shit, who do I fuck with? Rob? Mm-hmm. I fuck with Rob, Future, Kodak Black, Wyclef. Um, if he's top five, then that would no, be him. Then it would be he would be the fifth. You know how yeah, five works. Yeah, he would be the fifth. Yeah. Yeah. All right. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm like, I'm out. not sure if the nigga had five figures and he thought he had a six. Nah, and I, then he uh, uh, already uh, forgot uh, the fifth Haitian uh, that he rocked with. Yeah, like, in that instant moment. <laughs> like, nah, I had three fingers up. That's why. But yeah, that, I, 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 everything he said was goaded. Honestly, yeah, shout out to that him, was perfect. Man. That was a goat call right there. That was a goat call, man. All right, so then we're going we randomly choosing these people in the in the live call lobbies, guys. So. This, I'm gonna randomly bring in. This is gonna be the, this is gonna be the last call. Fact yeah. So guys, make sure you sign up to this Discord. We're gonna uh, next episode. We'll start earlier and earlier and get you guys calls in. But sign up to the Discord first. We need to make sure our Discord is going crazy so that we could have someone in the chat. Let us know if anyone in the chat or anyone in Discord that can make clips of our podcast for us, the hype moments. And clip it up for us as well. So make sure you sign up to our Discord. We got a lot of things going on with our Discord this year. We're going to be super active, like I said, this year. So keep it locked. And I got $25 for somebody who give me some timestamps on this uh 
uh, on, on this podcast and send it to me on Discord. All right, so we're going to go as much as I would love. And you know what? I'm going to choose the name Naruto the Goat. Thank you. Thank you. Oh. We knew you would. <laughs> <laughs> he, he knew he would. Yeah, yeah he yeah, knew he, I would. I mean. He'd be here. So Naruto the Goat, you are now live with RTTV. Tell us where you're from, your name, how you got put on to RTTV, and then, of course, your opinion on Wano. Just waiting on him to get on. We'll give you, we'll give you like five seconds now until the goat. In five, four, three, two, one. Okay, thanks, Sammy. <laughs> um, okay, that's time. We can kick him. We can bring okay. somebody else in here. On time, bro. Oh, wait, wait. Oh, he's back. He's on. He's on. He's on. What up? He's Naruto back. the goat. Not tails fly. Oh, what you doing, man? Who's chilling, bro? How you doing? I'm good. How you doing? Doing good. Doing good, bro. Yeah, did you find us through a Naruto video or what was it? <laughs> Damn. Oh, One Piece. Okay, 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 okay. All right, man. So tell us your opinion on Wano and how it ranks in your uh, arc rankings for, for One Piece. Wano for me, probably. Probably top three. Probably a three for me. Okay. Sure. Okay, and then uh, let us know what are the other two then. If Wano's number three, what are the what are one and two? For me, in the I've never really touched spiritual anime, but I was close down. I kind of feel shit. Woo! <laughs> and then Jiraiya Death, also. Facts. That was that. a good moment, though. That was a good moment. And then number one? Well, that's number one. Number two would probably be... Um, number two would probably be Cyber Ogre. All right. So I'll be that way. Six more All right. That's I'll a good pick, too. on that. I, I see a lot of people that make these rankings. They usually have Indy's lobby up there, so that's why I wasn't mm -hmm. too bad about Roger's pick. Um, I mean, he said Water Seven. That's why I tripped. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he said yeah. Drummer Island. <laughs> yeah, Drummer Island is the name of there. Um, but all right, that's a good pick, man. Any any uh reason why you think Wano was so amazing in your eyes? I know you you gave us an explanation on Indy's lobby with Robin crying, and Sa Sabodi. We heard explanations previous. What? Why do you think um Wano was great? For Wano. And um, aside for I just want to know, aside from like One Piece arcs, can you just tell me your favorite arc of all time? That's a good one. He didn't say pain. Dragon Ball, Death in the Grave, and I don't know, One Piece was different with the characters, and the characters was always me. Fire. And like Naruto was always shitty character, so he just forgot about. Wow. All right, well, hey, man, what was, what was your name again, bro? We got Rob from Rob. South Florida. South Florida, yeah. Florida. South Florida Rob. <laughs> <laughs> I, I appreciate you calling in, man. We're going to be here on February 28th. Yeah, we're going to have our, another podcast breaking down the Shibuya arc in Jujutsu Kaisen, man. Right. So we'd love to have you on the call again, bro. So make sure you reach out, man. Peak. Yeah. 
That's a fact. Come on, Wells. That's a fact. That's a hey, fact. listen, listen. Listen, when they remake it with the new animation. He ain't lying. Hey, man, when they remake it with the new animation, we could talk about it. I mean, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, it, it was I, bro. It, it was good. I ain't gonna let the story. The story. The story was good, bro. Uh, my memory of watching that again mm. was terrible. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I haven't gone back since then. So, you know, like if I go back and you know now I have a new appreciation for One Piece, I might, I may be more lenient on criticizing so much on the animation, but. Um, it it was good. It was good. Obviously, we liked it when we watched the live action. Exactly. Too, so it it was good. The story it does hit. But yeah, I appreciate you calling in, bro. Love you guys, man. Good night since day one. Bro. Love you too, you too, man. Too, man. Too, All right, bro. Yeah. Yo, that might be my favorite caller all time because Joel got baited. He thought he was about to come in here and tell all Naruto. Psych, nigga. Nah, Psych. I did too. I got baited too. I thought you. Psych, was nigga. Say- they say what's your favorite arc, Joel said. Tell me some shit I like to hear. <laughs> Nigga said in his lobby, Joseph. I'm not gonna no, lie to you. I thought he was gonna say. <laughs> I thought he was gonna say pain. I was gonna be like, yeah, he knows, Sean. He knows. Shout out to him, man. They're making me realize how much any lo- any lobby was a good arc, yo. For real, for real shit. He's loving yeah. that arc, yo. I'm major. I'm about to revisit that bitch. And don't think we did this on accident, man. We made sure we did a podcast during the Chiefs parade. Yeah, man. Well, <laughs> shout out, Evan is big bad. Shout shout to everybody that's here right now. Oh shit. Oh, shit. That's why a nigga didn't even hear you, bro. Shout out yeah, to everybody sure. that's here with us. Time. Yo, <laughs> shout out to everybody that's uh, been rocking with us. We appreciate Fact. everyone that's been here with us. We've been going, this is going on our sixth year of doing this YouTube thing. You guys were with us when we were young in our 20s. We're in bro. our 30s now. And we want to keep doing this till forever and ever. So we appreciate you guys spending your time with us. You guys could have been anywhere in the world, but you choose to kick back and listen to us debate and have a good, um, good laughs and stuff. So make sure you check it out. We got this podcast game unlocked this year. We're go- we're trying to go super, super. We are gonna go super, super Fact heavy. Though. It's awesome. We're gonna take it to the top. And everyone that's here, y'all, day ones. We appreciate you. Twenty twenty four. We going crazy. And yo, man, make sure you check us. Uh, me and Pat out. So it's February twenty first is the opening of yeah. MLS soccer. Arden TV reacts. We're covering yeah. the whole soccer season, the NBA playoffs, UFC fights, the Jake Paul fight. Ryan Garcia versus Devin Hanley, and we also give dope reactions, and we do all sports movies on RGTV Extra. Yes, so Facts. if you're into sports, sports reactions, sports live streaming, make sure you check out RGTV Extra for all that good stuff. And again, make sure you check us out on Patreon. Go ahead, bro. Go ahead, nigga. Oh, what's the good, man? It's your boy, DC, <laughs> man. Appreciate y'all rocking with us, man. There's only two ghosts in the world. Always remember that. It's Tom Brady and RTTV. Stop fucking playing with me. And LeBron James. Michael Jordan. Wow. I mean, wow. both are goats. Wow. Patrick Godsey. We're not going to have his argument. Yeah, whatever, <laughs> man. Patrick Godsey, man. Yo, looking forward to seeing y'all rock with us throughout the rest of this year, man. We got a lot of ghost shit coming. <laughs> Bless you. And we got a special gift coming from y'all. March 14th. Mark your calendars. March 14th. We got some shit just for y'all, man. Real talk. Stay tuned. March 14th. March 14th. I need a hashtag. Everybody, March 14th. We got a big surprise. I think we're going to have a podcast that day, too. So make sure March 14th. Hashtag right now. Spam it. March 14th. March 14th. March 14th. Surprise for y'all. Yo, it's a maniac. Wilkins underscore RT. Shout out to Patrick Mahomes for winning three rings. You know. Um, shout out to the MCU for giving us Deadpool and what's his face, you know. Um, and also, Wolverine. He face? literally is said in Deadpool two, one. He had to fondle face? his balls, bro. Stop, what's his face? stop acting like that. What's what he said. Face? And yo, Fantastic Jeez. Four, the new MCU Fantastic Four is gonna be great, guys. It's gonna be great. <laughs> and I'm shocked that Shibuya Arc One in a. a one oh, piece arc good it is, and nigga. a one piece stream. Yes, it beat Marine Four. That's crazy. Nah, that should so, like, that should boot your arc. Is that says a lot. <laughs> that says a lot. That's a fact. I was thinking about that earlier. Yeah. Your arc is gone. And we got a couple uh, super chats. I was I almost forgot y'all, but I would never do that to y'all. So before we get out of here, man, just quick run through for y'all. We got Otito gave us a super chat. He said Yamato versus Yamato. Who's winning, City? Yamato from Naruto. Bet. 
We got Muhammad uh, Liar uh, donated and said, factually, Rob, Oda said that uh, Zoro just might be racist. Uh, <laughs> Otito also super chatted and said, Rob, imagine if Buggy awakened his unstoppable. I, I'm not sure if I was supposed to say that. I don't know what he just said right there. Uh, Ahmed Elmi said, hot take, law in mid lose to Big Mom nine times out of ten and only one because of the convenient nukes. Also, the overall One Piece anime is a bad adaptation of manga. I don't agree, but I never read the manga, so I can't really argue. <laughs> uh, Jason Beard. Uh, Joel, what do you think about that, actually? I, you, would, you would know more of that than anything. Like I think as of, re- as of recent, it's good. Okay. Yeah. Bet. Jason Beard uh, donated and said, Evan, take that hat off. No, because I'm a real fan. No matter what year it is, we're going to fucking rep. Stop <laughs> playing with me. Uh, Yamin donated and said, Momo thing was the first real experience of the bad pacing for you guys. That's what we've been through these last four years. That's why Wano has passionate hate. Okay. Okay. Uh, Manga King <laughs> donated and said, "Are you guys going to watch Der- Deranged Detective Anime? Same Arthur the Hit, same as Arthur of Hitman Reborn." I don't know what the fuck that is. Yeah, we ain't got no clue on that one. So, <laughs> uh, who that for life? Chris donated and said, "My opinion: Wano Kuni better than Marine Ford because Marine Ford lacked emotional beats from Garp." Interesting. Mm. And. Uh, Golden Boy 808 been watching y'all ever since Hunter X Hunter reactions. Much love, and that is it. Yeah, we, sh- we should have got more emotions out of Garp in that arc, though. Especially yeah. like if Ace was really like close to him. To that. We argued that though at that point. Yeah, it was, was like my G. That nigga, yeah. Like, why aren't you help your niggas? Like your boys? Like, like that's yeah. your family. Like that's you true. bugging out. I mean, we did wild out on. Garp, we did wild out on him for that. I actually had to defend him a little bit for how much y'all teed. Because I think Joel yeah, had crying too. Like, huh? You were crying during that arc too. Nah, I don't see that. That was a good arc, though. Real shit. I think the argument, the opposing <laughs> argument was like, but he's part of the Marines. Exactly. So yeah, that was face, me saying so that whatever, shit. whatever. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I remember yeah, that. You had to play it properly, bro. Man, my family or the Marines, fuck. Man, I'm holding my family down forever. OTF. OTF. And y'all already know, it's your boy, Wells, the Anime King, man. We got more podcasts coming your way. I'll be on live catching up to some of those missed chapters of One Piece and JJK this Saturday. So keep it locked. Wells underscore RT on Twitch. Send it back to you, Rob. That settles.